called Yogurt and Video. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just... Oh. You like was, video? You like yogurt? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, fellas? What's going on? Man, oh man, thank you so much. Thanks for, oh, thanks thank for being you. here. Cheers. Oh my God, look at this. Dear Lord, I should have brought, I should have brought a mug that I had, but it would have been embarrassing <laughs> because those are amazing. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Well, first of all, thank you so, so much for being on. Uh, this is the Lo-Fi Horror Guys growing on you live. So if you've never seen the show before, basically we have a couple of just, you know, icebreaker questions to begin with. And then we have uh, the rest of the body of the interview is just about you guys and your craft. I've got a couple of, you know, I've got some, some questions for both of you, but then I have individual questions for you as well. And then at the very end, I've got finale segments for each of you as well. Oh, man, I'm nervous. Oh, man, it, it's oh. going to be fun. It's going to be fun. We're going to, you know, lighthearted, going to have a good time with it. I'm so, so excited. I'm a huge fan of your guys' stuff. So I, oh, I'm really, so much. I'm really excited to hear what, uh, what we're going to be digging into here. So, oh. so oh, all right. So to, to start off, and as I said, thank you so much, first of all, Sam, Lee, for being on. Uh, if you guys are just joining us, the Box Lightner Brothers, Lee and Sam, we're going to be digging into, they, you know, they, they do all sorts of things from the, the score to directing to acting of horror shorts and uh, great stuff, fellas. Thank you so much for doing what you do. Thank you, uh, thank man. You, man. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so first of all, let me ask you guys, uh, and, and you guys can answer. These are going to be questions, you know, for, for both of you. So if you got, you know, whoever wants to answer, however, uh, first of all, let me ask three horror scenes that were forever ingrained in your brain after seeing them. I let got me... one. Uh, um, okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, dead alive, brain dead, depending on what part of the planet you're on. Uh -huh. Um, I have, I think I already know which one you're going. <laughs> we watched it together when we were kids and, uh, uh -huh. I, I'll, I'll never forget. For some reason it just, it just got me. The scene where Vera's ear yeah. falls off and, the dude's <laughs> quit, and then like it squirts like this bloody pus into his, and he's just like on talking about we need another wall, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he's like, and he just fucking scoops that that pus up and mm, disgusting, yeah. And I, I, <laughs> I had to like I got I had to get out of the room and just like dry heave into a sink. I think beautiful. My top top horror scene ever actually got me my first concussion. <laughs> okay, okay. Like, easy. Um, I, when I was a kid, I used to love trying to reenact the scene where Bruce Campbell's hand attacks him in Evil Dead 2. And my first concussion <laughs> came from actually grabbing myself by the head and trying to flip myself <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. Beautiful. I, I know I've seen some of your guys' interviews too, and I've I've heard, you know, bits of that story, and I'm just like, oh my God. Like that is absolutely my childhood, was just seeing some yeah, of this ridiculous yeah. shit and then knocking myself out trying to do it. <laughs> yep. Exactly. How'd they do that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was part of, you know, that was part of like the, the beauty with all that stuff too, was you know, is it was like mm -hmm. first of all being shocked seeing it, but then it's like, how the hell did they pull that off? How did no, they I know. That? Uh, Bruce yeah. Campbell is still his performance in that movie still baffles me. Like yeah, look, what that man was able to do, not just with his body, but with his face. Like I mean, like yeah. his delivery of yeah. every line is is repeatable. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. he can he can make just a normal line. Uh, yeah. Granted, he was given some great lines to say, <laughs> but he could take right. like, a normal line and then you you could put it on a coffee mug. You know, <laughs> well, <laughs> another one that really messed with me when I was a kid was and. We had Nightmare on Elm Street 2 on tape. I don't know why that's the one we had on tape as a kid. <laughs> yeah, right. I Hell understand yeah. understand the, like, sexual connotations from that movie when I was really little, but the scene sure. where Grady is trapped in his bedroom 
when <laughs> what's his name is turning into Freddy Krueger. Yeah, right. The kid was like, "That's the scariest sleepover I've ever." Been. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I, I like love that, it. Like, what for some reason, what got ingrained in my head is the scene with the 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 '80s rock out scene in his bedroom with the, yeah, with the brush. That's not how you call <laughs> the, the way he closes the, the the drawers with his butt and bumping up against it. <laughs> He's got a documentary. Oh my god! Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. it yeah, crazy. I haven't, I haven't seen that yet. But I know they just recently somebody, somebody made a documentary about that whole movie and just kind of some of the undertones yeah. of it all. Yeah, yeah. very odd. Okay. Yeah, I think it's on Shutter. I what was, have to what was yeah. one of your favorite horror scenes? I don't know. I'm thinking. Uh, gosh, I've got, there's a lot of uh, obscure ones. Um, so, stuff that goes like deep. Like I'm, for some reason, I don't know why I keep thinking of, and it's not. I can't even verbalize the actual scene, but it's just like an image from the movie Troll. It's the first <laughs> Troll. <laughs> yeah, it's like okay. a female Troll. Okay. I can't remember, but it just grossed me out as a kid. Um, <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a time. Oh, um, <laughs> Nightbreed, when the dude in the hospital oh. just starts cutting his yeah. skin off. Yeah. 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 I feel like when I first saw that, I'm like, a 10-year-old should not be seen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you do you remember like how young were you guys when you first saw your like even your first horror movie? I was I was four years old. My mother yeah. showed me um, American Werewolf in London. Ooh, uh, aha! I like that. Fright rags. Yeah, yeah fright rags. Uh -huh. oh, fright rags. rags is the way to go. Yeah, they kind Beautiful. Of are the best. Um, I, my, I was three when I was watching Nightmare on Elm Street two. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was like when I first started getting. <laughs> you know, we're, ch we're children of the '80s, so we would do like uh, we would go every Friday night. We would have like Friday, but Friday night was like horror movie and pizza night, and uh, we would go down to like the local like video store and rent something. And we were really savvy, tech savvy back then for '80s tech savvy. We had a VHS, but we also had like an old Betamax that yeah. you couldn't you couldn't oh, really yeah. buy tapes for anymore because like they just <laughs> <It was> Betamax. <laughs> but we had like a bunch of like Betamax tapes that you could just re-record over. So we would like. I'm pretty sure we're the only people who had a Betamax Nightmare Number Two. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. We had like, yeah, so we would just like take whatever like good horror movie we wanted. That's the reason why we had Nightmare Number Two. For some reason, yeah. that one that one stayed preserved on that Betamax tape. Why it didn't get taped over. Kick off. They were much oh, smaller. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And that yeah. Was <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dang, yeah, that's the, awesome. The player worked forever. Yeah. Um, that so, that was certainly yeah. that was a technology I never I never got into. The VHS was kind of the dawning of where that all started. Yeah. Apparently yeah. that's because porn decided to side with <laughs> VHS. Yeah. Because Betamax was <laughs> okay. much better, I think, in my opinion. Like from I what I remember. Back in the day, like you couldn't get porn on Pornhub. There was no like, <laughs> no, yeah, you know, like there was like this there was there was the shady, <laughs> sticky side of the video store. Where the curtain <laughs> the curtain and, and you'd a like neon line. You'd be like a kid, like you'd be a kid like going to like the romantic comedy section because that's where you wanted to go and you just but really you were just going there because you, you had like a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. right. Open the curtain and you'd be like, right. uh huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> you you kinda you kinda use your foot to kick it open a little bit and just yeah, like, yeah. Act like you're looking at something. Yeah. Your mom's you like, why are you looking at this this Mel Gibson movie for three hours? And it looks great. <laughs> because it's the Patriot. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> He's in oh yeah. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely love it. So next, if, if I can ask you guys, if I were traveling out your way, okay, and if I came out to California, and, and I was just spending a couple of days, and I asked you guys to point me in the direction of a local food staple, what, what where are you going to, what, what direction are we going? What's, what's something that I have to try before I leave? Are you a vegetarian? Uh, no, but you know, my wife is pretty much, okay. so that would so probably that's, be that's a, a closer. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is a bar here called Ye Rustic Inn, which has, I think, the best wings I've ever tasted in my life. Yeah. Okay. They, got the hot, they got the best hot wings in L.A., at least, I think. Damn. Um, and then uh, they got the, the Myrtle Burgers, pretty, pretty good, too. It's pretty good. Um, that's, I mean, that's that's our local hole, basically. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, and that's cool, you know, because I, I asked for those things because, you know, oftentimes, like, we travel, you know, some, and, and it's a cool thing, you know, from, I have some, some guests on here that are from out of country, out of state, and, you know, so I like to hear some of the things that are local to you guys that you like. Yeah. We got, also, we have, lo just down the streets, Best Fish Tacos in Ensenada. Yes. We, and they're oh, the Best okay. Fish Tacos in Los Feliz as well. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yeah, so, uh, 
Uh, okay. Yeah, that, All right. That, Hell yeah. Those, those are like really, and that's like a legit like taco stand, like pretty much. Like you, there's like seats okay. inside, I guess, but like it's basically just yeah. benches outside, and you, they yeah. got fish. They got fish tacos. They got shrimp tacos. And they got potato tacos. That's it. That's it. That's all they got. <laughs> potato like, tacos. It's yeah. like a dollar seventy five for What the hell is that? <laughs> it's I don't I don't right? know. I would I would touch them, but <laughs> they have them. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's a vegetarian. Uh, so wow. Potato tacos. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just like I'm just, just like, picturing like a, a tortilla with like a hash brown in the middle. That's essentially that it. Sounds yeah. so <laughs> good. <laughs> Could be good. Put some salt. Doesn't on sound it. bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Deep fry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> All right. All right. So I I had to ask that, but we'll 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 wind back to to horror here. So as far as you guys' horror origin, where where did it all start? Where you know. Uh, and you guys were mentioning, you know, kind of some local like video stores that you're into. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. What are some earlier memories of where this all started for you? Uh, honestly, for me, I'll speak first because yeah. I'm, I'm the oldest. Um, <laughs> and, there first. Yeah, I was there first. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like I mentioned, my mom, uh, my mom showed me um, Night. Uh, I'm sorry, American Werewolf in London um, when I was like four years old, and the real reason was because she was she was watching me, and she wanted to watch a horror movie because she loved horror movies. And she was like, "All right, well, I'm just I'm gonna watch it, and if he gets nightmares, I'll deal with it." And, <laughs> yeah, um, fuck and yeah, then, you did. <laughs> and she's been dealing with it ever since. Yeah, it ever since. <laughs> um, so, but but then it became like this kind of almost like this film school because I really liked it, and she was like, "Oh great, he likes it. I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him this, I'm gonna show him that." And then you know, she used it. Uh, she was like, "It's under the guise." She like told herself like. Uh, I'm not. I'm not terrifying my child. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna educating. teach. I'm educating, educating. Them on like how they do, like how makeup is, and that they're, 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 these are actors, and it's like what well, you know. Our right. parents are actors, and it's like this is what mommy and daddy do. Right. And uh, you know, when somebody gets their guts taken out, it's not really <laughs> happening. <laughs> you know, um, it, it happened it, to a pig much earlier. <laughs> 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 yeah, much so. much nicer more a more pleasant <laughs> manner <laughs> yeah right um so yeah it's like, that's where it kind of started and yeah, yeah we just kind of uh we always loved it you know just growing up yeah. like it was like every friday night we were like let's get another horror movie and uh you know and and then, and then as we got older too every summer you know like families make their home movies like if we had a video camera, our home movies were not like other home yeah. movies. I think. <laughs> like, we got the whole community to be in like yeah. zombie movies. Our, 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 you know? Hell yeah, that our, rules. Our home movies had a three X structure. Uh, yeah, and usually <laughs> someone getting disemboweled at some point. You know? Oh my god. You're like, let's, look, let's like, look back at the summer of 89. It's like, why the hell yeah. did we die every summer? Jesus. Yeah, every I know. Summer, right? <laughs> we would yeah. literally have, like, cops pull over as we're building stuff, and we would just be like, come be in it. And yeah. we'd be like, we legally can't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. What, uh, what, what, were some, uh, what were some local video stores to you guys that you would frequent? Ours was, we had one that was unbelievable called Yogurt and Video. Yeah. And it was just. Oh. You like was, video? You like yogurt? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then get some frozen or frozen yogurt and a horror movie, and just you know, walk on home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was great. It was great. Damn, that's it. Okay. That was before Blockbuster. Yeah. And, all that stuff, you know? and then sure. obviously once that came into play, it was like Blockbuster, or Hollywood Video, mm -hmm. places like that. But that mm -hmm. made it really tough for horror fans. I feel like because one of the joys of being a horror fan, I'm sure you knew, you know, this is the horror covers are so amazing mm -hmm. that when you're younger, you're not going off of plot. Right. Like, right. That fucking right. cover is metal as fuck, yeah. and I want to watch that movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And then when you get Blockbuster, you're like, oh, these look the same. I guess I have to go on title now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, yeah. Was 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 this this yogurt in movies, was this uh, like, was it a small dark corner that horror was tucked in that you had to like swift your way through, or how did that work? I mean, it was just an aisle towards the back. Yeah, it was an aisle towards the back. And I think, if I remember correctly, you, you had a pretty good view of that porno curtain. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. You realize years later yeah. what that smell actually was. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Dear Lord. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that that's not joy. just here, because that smell became very faint, just as you were just saying that. That came right back. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> it was oh, the my. smell of joy and happiness. Yeah. Right, right. 
<laughs> so when when you were coming up in and the VHSs and different you know physical releases started coming out, did you guys have a collection? Uh, were you were you VHS collectors? Did you get into CEDs or or any of the physical yeah. stuff like that? I, I have I still have my collection of DVDs. I've yeah. narrowed it down to like a CD book full because I just don't have the space for all the boxes. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know? But okay. like, I still have my collection of DVDs. Okay. Uh, for some reason, I have the like Slumber Party Massacre trilogy on Blu-ray. Like, who fucking needs that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did I get that? <laughs> right. Where did it come from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they're a must-have. <laughs> sure, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Sa I just watched that the other night, the second one. Uh, Killer Mary Killer? No, yeah, Mary Lou. No, that's Prom Night. Oh, prom then, night. Prom night, yeah, do you should sleep? Okay, yeah, I'm sleeping. So, so I'm a yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, no, I did watch that too. I watched the, the first Killer one. Killer, man. Who came up with that? It's and brilliant. honestly, like the rules. electric guitar that kills. Yeah, yeah that the rules. First killer, killer actually just has a drill. That's the one I watched yeah. the other night. Um, I, I watched it right after Prom Night. That's why I got I got I got it messed up. I, I've like, I've been going down shutter holes lately, where it's just oh, like, yeah. shutter's the best thing to happen to streaming. Ever. It is. Yeah. It is great. There's yeah. there's so much cool stuff on there, and then the documentaries that they put on there as yeah. well, like yeah, stand I find up. Saw, uh, to Helen Beck the other day. To Helen Beck's like, great is, horror noir. Yes, yes, horror noir. <laughs> Holy shit! But yeah, Have the you... original guy. Like, if you've watched, if you if you watch uh, some Party Master one, like the original guy that they cast for the Driller Killer, and he's got like, it's just I guess it's just one of these types of drills because it's never <laughs> plugged in. But he looks like a he looks kind of like a young Fred Armisen. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and I'm like thinking, he like, does. Oh, we gotta he like does. We gotta remake this movie right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, gigantic opportunity here, people. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god just contact him and be like look man i know you've done some pretty big stuff but we have the pitch for you okay you this are. is going to be the you biggest thing ever <laughs> <laughs> you get to talk you don't have to wear a mask it'll be sweet yeah. it'll be fine yeah exactly <laughs> your crazy eyes so yeah. So, so for the both of you, you know, now fast forward and, and, and making your shorts, making your movies, what was the first movie that you guys can remember even before you started putting stuff online? What were, what were kind of some, some origins for, uh, you know, you testing out the technologies? I know you're mentioning like the summer, the, the, the summer, you know, uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, videos and such. Um, oh, yeah. Was, uh, I would say the first one that we actually, I mean, we did that as kids and then, and then. You know, I was I'm like I'm five years older than Lee, so I eventually ended up going off to school, and I I, I like studied music, and I kind of like just left the, the 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 movie thing altogether for a bit, and toured around in bands and all that kind of stuff, and uh -huh. had way too much fun that I can't <laughs> I can't really even remember most of it, uh, <laughs> but I know it was good. Uh, yeah, right. That's uh, how you know it was good. Now I know. Yeah. I know it was good. Yeah, what happened when I was 23? I don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, then, um, anyway um, yeah, so, but then, then, then we ended up, I, I ended up kind of quitting that and like recalibrating my life and going back to like what, you know, I was, you know, always, always been passionate about, you know, we moved in together. And so mm -hmm. the first. Um, and I was going to film school while you were on the road. Yeah, exactly. And so, and so we moved in together and uh, the, the, our first collaboration was a, a short with uh, with our, our our then girlfriends at the time called Las Duelistas, and it was not. There's no story involved, really. It's no. just a just a setup for a stabbing gag. Yeah, we um, no story, <laughs> but we went through two gallons of fake blood. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Damn, it's that's on our channel. Sweet. You can see it. It's buried in our channel somewhere. It's called Las Duelistas. It's not really horror, but there is a lot of blood. So. Yeah. Hell yeah, that's, that's a start. The tale of a rock, paper, scissors match gone horribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see that one on there. I, I know, yeah, I certainly, old. I watched everything on there. Shit. You've yeah. got to search for yeah. it. I've got to find that, okay. Um, and, and it was the first one that actually, weirdly enough, like the first one that we that we put up there actually got a lot of uh, attention, but not maybe not the right attention. Not the right attention. Um, <laughs> okay. It, it, got, okay. Like, it got posted on like some belly stabbing fetish site. And so then all of a sudden, like before we knew it, we had like 70,000 like views, like overnight, you know? And oh, shit. Were, like, do one when you stab her like this? And we're like, what the yeah. hell's going on? Oh, my God. You went from, 
you went from the horror section to behind the curtain. Right. You guys right. got moved into a separate yeah. section of the video store. <laughs> and anyway, there's no nudity in the short or anything. No, there's no nudity. It's just, Whoa. It's just girls having some old-fashioned fun without, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, and, yeah. Um, we just oh. we declined to make our the sequel. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, we were, gonna, we, were, we were toying with the idea of just, like, putting subtle fetishes through all of our films yeah. just so <laughs> it doesn't do well with yeah. the horror crowd we'll do well with the fetish yeah. community. That's oh what we got my god <laughs> that is wild wow so then you guys were getting messages from just different random people that were just <laughs> sending out the craziest shit i can imagine yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then eventually right. we're like, you know what? Let's do one about a dead little girl. There's nothing that we can, you know, weird messages we can get with that, right? Yeah. Okay. And then we got weird messages after that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, dude. That, you know, no. that is one thing in any, in any, like, film and anything whatsoever is it's always kids. It's so heartbreaking. And God damn, yeah. I can say, like, first watching that one, you know, and Sam, like, even it's a very, you know, minuscule minute part as far as like acting wise but that short is heartbreaking <laughs> oh, <laughs> truly yeah. heartbreaking oh my god where what, what was was that like what was the inspiration for that one uh fuck i think i mean pardon my friend da uh, daddy but, right yeah, it was yeah, daddy, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay i think um, pretty much almost like almost all of our shorts are like what can we do right now with what we've got well, mm -hmm. what do we have? Well, we, we have a little girl. We know a little girl, and we have my bedroom. And, 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 and our what friend do we do has that? a camera. Yeah, we just use our friend's camera at the time. Like, yeah, we didn't have any Our friend here. Dave, Dave Jacobson, who's an amazing director of photography, um, okay. he was kind enough to be like, yeah, I'll hang out with you guys for a day. And little did he know then that he would be stuck with us forever. <laughs> yeah, he shot, he shot everything, everything since then. Um, yeah. he, he's the one behind the camera. <laughs> Um, okay. and, yeah, and then what we didn't see it is this like we thought it was just gonna be creepy, like this little girl, and then we put her in the towel and all that stuff. Yeah, and then we showed it to other people, and they were like, "This is tragic," and we're like, "It I is." Know what we were yeah. going for, we were going yeah. For <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is creepy too, but that's, you know, that's kind of one of the things and I'll get into this in a little bit here, but that's one of the things where, you know, uh, some of your stuff, you watch it and then all of a sudden, you know, like five, 10 minutes later, you're like, oh, that's not the direction at all. I thought this was going in. <laughs> like, oh, shit. That just got dark. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What it is. Yeah. <laughs> so, so now, and, and this is kind of, you know, my next question. So like being horror fans, uh, you know, we're often amused and in love with the gross out gags, you know, the gross out aspects of the movies, you know, due partially to like the shock factor, but then also the awe of how did they do that? You know, how was this pulled off? Um, as writers, actors, directors yourselves, what are some of the gags that you guys have pulled off that were just disgusting but you you're just like staring at the camera and ah like oh my god this is perfect uh the first thing that comes to mind for me is the poop scene in rupert <laughs> oh yes yeah that one, With that one literally without fail even when people read the script they read that scene like this you know like <laughs> we knew that was gonna work yeah our, if we, speaking of our, our, our dp dave he read it I remember watching him read it because um, we were at work and he and w with the, the job we had, we were working on some Hallmark film together and we both had downtime and I was just sitting there in my chair and I was watching him over at his camera cart and he's just like, <laughs> we're not making and he looks over at me and he's like, we can't, we can't. Yeah. Can't oh, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like, Day one, we shot tasteful. that scene. That was like one of the, we shot like a normal scene outside, just like, oh, boyfriend's late, pick her up. And then we went right. to Bootsy. We went to Bootsy, get it out of the way. You know? <laughs> I knew right there and then from the reaction of the people watching yeah. and getting my diaper changed that this scene is going to be effective. I also <laughs> knew right then and then uh, how many people don't read the script before they show up to work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they, yes. 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 <laughs> oh my God. That had yeah. to have been more gratifying than the people that did. I wish <laughs> I had on camera the look of the yeah. grip and electrics when I first walked yeah. out in costume and makeup. Yeah. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? <laughs> What is this? Oh my god. I have to say first and foremost, up. there's there's gonna be spoilers. So if you're watching yeah. and you haven't seen any of these shorts, we're yeah. gonna be getting into some spoilers because I have to ask about some of this shit. 
I have um, to put that out. <laughs> okay, yeah. so so go ahead. So uh, I, I think one of the one of the things I'm most proud of, and it, so much of it comes down to this guy right here. Um, it, it was neither one of us were on screen, but we uh, they had this. We had the, the pleasure of working with this lovely actor, Demiel Cole Hurd, oh, who plays uh, Philip the boyfriend in in uh, Die Sitter Die Rupert. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, there's, a, I mean, spoiler alert, he dies, uh, <laughs> and we we, we 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 crush his head, right? Yes. And uh, the way the way that all worked out still just like it boggles my mind. The way the way that it finally cut and he edited it, so it cut really well. But we um. We, the house that we were working in, the location, um, was very a very, very nice house and very expensive. And we, and we were told, like, you can shoot, you can shoot here, but there's got, there's no blood. You can't no blood. touch anything. You can't touch anything. And there's, you, you can't, obviously, that you just cannot do any blood. So we're like, okay, well, how do we crush a person's head in the foyer if we can't have any blood in the foyer? <laughs> right? So, um, so we ended up coming down to my, our parents' house and, like, and covering the entire laundry room with uh, with just black plastic, and uh, okay. got the dummy of the head. And we got some tiles oh, yeah, from yeah. Home Depot. We got some top to the floor. <laughs> yeah, just and, enough for like the head space. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and we had this great. Uh, we had uh, our, our good friends uh, uh, Josh um, and, and and Sierra Russell. They do Russell effects, and they are they They're do all, all of our. Um, oh my god! They, yeah. Have you seen the ritual? Uh huh. They oh did yeah, the monster for the ritual yeah, and all the oh, stuff. Like, yeah. damn, are, okay. Uh, you go yeah, into yeah, their yeah, shop yeah. and you're just like, this is just like yeah. a dreamland, you know? Yeah. So they were they, they helped us out with a uh, with the head and uh, and all the stuff inside the head, and we just like just I mean like if you were there, you would just be like, God, I mean it's so obvious that we are in a plastic room. laundry room with the, with some tile on and this like this head that like. Weirdly enough, actually, did kind of look like the actor because yeah. it wasn't like we didn't have the money to like put the mold, like mold the actor. No, head. they just used a head that they had. Yeah, they had it. It was, it, it was, it, but it, it, but the way it ended up turning out, like I, I still, I still watch it. And I go like, man, like that. We like we that, that's some movie magic right there. Like that and the uh, oh, yeah. watching them do the they they also did. There's a Achilles tendon slashing moment. I'm not going to give away who it is or what happens, but. That moment, I remember watching them like do their work, and I'm like, "This movie may work out." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that moment right there that that made me think of this one here. Yes, uh, yeah. sometimes dead is better. Yeah. I mean, Yikes! Yeah, I love, yeah love. that that was that was disgusting. And I can say, you know, as far as like the head crushing scene too, one of the things that was so effective that's just kind of a, a a subtle thing, you know, and just a small detail is panning outside and still hearing the thudding <laughs> from inside. I'm just like, oh, shit, all the music. Yeah. yeah, like, oh my God. Like, like, just little like things way, like that. The way we did that too, because we couldn't get blood anywhere. Like, and I get really bloody. <laughs> See, yeah. like, we literally shoot a shot of me pretending to attack the camera, then run outside and his wife, who was doing makeup on it, would just start throwing just blood at me. <laughs> then we'd run in, do another shot, run outside, throw blood <laughs> off. <of me>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> funny Dear too, Lord. Like that, that particular shot, like I remember writing when we wrote that, like going like, that shit's gonna be funny. People are gonna laugh their ass off. And then when you when you wa well, watch it with like an audience, people are just like, Ugh. yeah. And like that. nobody's laughing that entire movie. <laughs> that was, we thought it was gonna be hilarious. Yeah, we thought that was gonna be funny. And then no, downstairs, yeah, that's... like when we did downstairs, that was like dipping our toes into drama when, yeah. we, when we wrote it, and it turned out to be like I don't know, so it's not, hilarious. We'll we it. literally, whatever we go for, the opposite happens. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they laughing? <laughs> <laughs> the you know the the funny thing is is you're talking about this conversation you had with the homeowners the homeowners and the first thing I'm thinking of is like you know they're mentioning okay we don't want any blood in here you know we just you have to keep it nice and all I'm imagining is like okay you're checking off a checklist like okay we're gonna have poop blood <laughs> brains like yeah. Yeah, we're we're not gonna have any of that I swear to yeah. God and then they look they're and they're like what the hell did you do in my house yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> a bunch of trick oh, there was none of that. I but that was, that, was, that, was, that was like where you know you have to get resourceful because you know you only have what you have, right? And right. So we were able. To, we were got. We were blessed with this amazing location. But yeah. with that, with that blessing came some rules. Oh and, my and, sure. um, The the whole sure. climax of that movie, which takes place outside at night. Yeah. yeah. 
is all looped. Yeah, like, we weren't allowed to make any noise. We were not allowed to yeah. make any noise outside because we weren't. We didn't have a permit, and the the owner of the house was like, "You can shoot outside, but you cannot make any noise." Yeah, my, if my neighbor oh, complains, no. you are gone. Yeah, no so, shit. Wow. Literally, I'm fucking chasing this girl. Yeah, it's the kind of the driveway, <laughs> and we're all going like. <laughs> like, oh my god! Yeah, I mean, somewhere out there, there is audio of what it actually sounded like. And if you wa if you watch it with that audio, it's the funniest shit you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, I've got to find that. <laughs> I mean, it's just like weird, like like soft, like little mouse noise. <laughs> oh my god, that is wild! Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So, we've dug in a little bit to to Rupert. I have to ask about as well. Uh, I've got to ask about downstairs. So, the specific scene. I know, Sam, dude, you absolutely <laughs> killed it. I, I've got to say the, yeah. the 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 scene. And I've seen comments online, even to YouTube, mentioning the, this this as well. But the what the fuck was that scene? <laughs> yeah. Literally had to have been one of the most genuine things ever filmed <laughs> and anything i don't give a shit if it's national uh, a national you know uh, inquiry i don't care if it's stuff over in africa filming fucking animals <laughs> that was so genuine and so yeah. i could see myself in that situation and just having yeah. that same reaction was that a script thing how did that how did uh, that yeah, fall that into place actually, I, mean, I, re I really can't take any credit for it because i mean you i did I, I did perform it but it was it was lee's line when we wrote it we were like why did like what do you say you know when you know when a voice comes out and he says join us out of nowhere like what do you say to that what the fuck and he's was like, that what, what, and, he, and then, you know, the way i delivered it was the way i remembered him like what if he's like what the fuck was that <laughs> <laughs> like that's what you do right you're like what you say you say you know and so yeah the whole thing about that <laughs> character was just like okay let's let's i mean yes we want it to be funny but let's see because it was a test to see our, if our theory was correct that like honest fear is fun is funny. Oh right? my god! Like, so like like you know, you, you see you know, people in, in horror movies a lot of time that they're like they're acting the fear because if you <laughs> if you don't if you play it honest people are gonna laugh because it's hilarious. Yeah, like any mm -hmm. any prank movie or show you watch like right. that's honest fear and that's fucking hilarious. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's why we watch those sure. shows, right? Yeah. Uh, so sometimes I think like an honest reaction, if I heard a voice say, join us out of the darkness, my reaction would be, what the uh, fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yeah. I wouldn't have gone down in the basement. <laughs> right, right, right. But that's the part of the, that's job. part of the, yeah, you know, I mean, he was on duty. What are you gonna yeah, do? On duty. You I can't blame him. Consider this post-it yeah. note my two weeks notice, motherfuckers, I'm out of <laughs> okay, you're, a man, A man with that haircut and that mustache. Absolutely. He probably <laughs> also has a subscription to Guns and Ammo magazine. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, he he has his boots polished, but just the toes. That, yeah. The name yeah. Flip That's... Shubbers too, like <laughs> yeah. it become such a big name, and it was in the script. Yeah, it was Chris Benton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then Sam. What was it like the day before or whatever? He went to go get the name made. Didn't even tell me about it. And he's like, I want the name to be Flip Schubert. Yeah. And then the guy who made the tag spelled Schubert wrong. <laughs> and that's how we got Flip Shuffers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. I, awesome. I don't know why. I changed it. Well, I had, like, the, the guy, the original <laughs> name, the Chris Benton name was a friend of mine in high school. And uh, okay. but, uh, it was just like, it's not like, God bless Chris, but he, he, but it was, the name just didn't fit the character in my no. mind. And then I thought about this other guy, uh, this other guy in high school, this guy named Flip Cassidy, <laughs> who was Chris Benton's like fr buddy. And I was like, Flip, now that guy reminds me more of, of Flip, Flip, perfect. What about perfect. classic? And then I, when I was Googling the, um, like, where to get where to get name tags made. And, and there was, <laughs> and one of the picture was something Schubert. And uh, on the name tag, and I was like, "Well, it looks good on a name tag. I know that. <laughs> See it right there." And, uh, and so I was like, "It's gonna be Flip Schubert." And then the guy, and then, I, and then I, yeah, then like fast forward, like I I ordered it, and then like it's literally going to be ready to pick up on the day that we're shooting because we we that was another thing where we, it was like the location, like we had these two nights to shoot that shit, and that's it. Like yeah, that, once your again, gone. we I talked about shooting them. The guy's like, yeah, you can shoot here as long as you don't shoot in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Check mark. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the entire thing is in the basement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, well, um, this is why 
never ever gave me your locations manager the script. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, good tip. They, good tip. They might screw. They might ruin everything. But yeah. So right. anyway, yeah. Like I'm like running late to the the, the first our one our, one of our only two nights of shooting, and uh, I get this damn name tag and it's spelt wrong, and I flipped out on the guy. I was like, whose last name is Shepard? Do you know a Shepard? Who's last name is but it worked out all right. Flip Shepard's actually. Like, I now never I can't see it laughed so hard in my life because the night before is when Sam told me that he changed the main character's name. And oh, so, okay. And it's yeah, too okay. late. We ordered it. And I'm like, what the? You didn't even like. You didn't even talk about what the fuck are you doing? And then the next day, he's flipping out because the guy spelled the name wrong. Like, oh, <laughs> the bitch, man. We're going with Shepard. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh my god, that's perfect. That's awesome. I love how too you're like, yeah, this looks great on a name tag, and then it didn't even fucking show up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> completely wrong thing, yeah. dear lord. Oh my god. Like, how do you screw up the name that was the example for your store? <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, that is wild. Oh my god. Yeah, right. That is that's absolutely wild. You show yeah. them the website. Look at this is what I wanted. The exact thing. I didn't yeah. ask for anything else. Like I didn't ask for images, emojis, nothing. Just nothing. you to fucking spell it right. <laughs> Just name. Standard and you know what? Thank. Thank goodness for that person. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. Flip Shubbers is like, we couldn't have come up with that's that. That's him. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 that is him all day long. I love it. I love it. Flip so, so now, uh, more recently, uh, you guys have just released uh, Mr. Tickles, and that yeah. got accepted into Film Quest. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I wanted to dig into that a little bit and ask, you know, just as, as both film fans and makers, what, is, what does that mean to you as far as getting accepted into Film Quest? Oh man, it is a huge honor. We we were lucky enough we got accepted um, for Rupert, and we were able to go down. Yeah. And mm -hmm. it's just such a huge honor because the people who run that festival, and the same with a lot of festivals, but that festival is a, a big one for this. Is the, the people who run it are such fans of genre films yeah. Yeah. that okay. it, it just feels so nice when someone's like, "I love this movie, this movie, this movie, this movie," and I really like your movie. You're like, "How are you even yeah. putting us in that category?" Yeah. You know, like, hell yeah, it's just such an honor. Um, it's also and, one of the best times you're ever gonna have, and it's yeah, and you get to meet such amazing, yeah. talented people that we oh, <laughs> anytime we go to a festival, we're just like the two little sheep in the corner that are like. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but that one's really cool too because they have like all these like seminars. Like they really take it. Yeah, they 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 take it like seriously. Like we went and saw, um, and we saw. It. I mean, whenever we go, we get into a festival. It's like you. I think you're an idiot if you don't see everything. So first of all, you got to see every movie. But then they also had like during the day they had like this this um, this uh, professor from a uh, film, film professor, a film yeah. professor come in and like totally break down Psycho. And I to this day now I can't. He watched Psycho so cool, the same like, way. Watching Psycho, and yeah. about every couple minutes, he would pause and start going into like the making of it, yeah. the psychology behind it, like, right? And the, the psychology is like, yeah, his oh, no was, shit. It was just so fascinating. But yeah, you get to learn a lot of stuff like that, and then you just go out and party with a bunch of like-minded individuals. So <laughs> drunk. <laughs> yeah, so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you got like, you got to oh, stop man. yourself just short of forgetting cuz you're like look I don't remember from 20 to 26 this yeah. night I have to remember I have to remember and then uh, yeah and then you, you also just become friends with the people who make the festival and you end up seeing them throughout the years and they everyone just becomes so close you yeah. know yeah it's, okay. it's real family type um, of thing and and they're also the kind of people that don't bullshit you which is kind of nice yeah <laughs> for like, sure you make something they'll be like yeah. that wasn't my favorite and you'll be like yeah, <laughs> yeah we know that yeah that's nice in some situations there's yeah. others where it's like god damn it you know how hard i worked on that yeah, yeah. You know, i literally bled for this but it's okay yeah. <laughs> oh my god so as far as uh you know, what were the earlier conversations for, for Mr. Tickles and how you wanted it to, to play out, how you wanted the look and sound and feel of it? Well, I remember I was doing a, a, an effects test where I, okay. I can't remember what inspired it, but I wanted to try and recreate a silent film look. Because, that was going to oh, be I, my next question, yeah, was how, how it came about as far as being a, a silent yeah. film. We, uh, I was watching this tutorial on YouTube because I love doing After Effects and stuff like that when I'm just not doing anything i'll work on one of those projects and uh there were there was this silent film look i'm like that doesn't look like a silent film at all like 
And so I was like, I have to figure out how to do this. And then I figured out how to kind of recreate a silent film look. And then we were like, well, wouldn't it be fun if we did a horror movie that was a silent film, mm -hmm. but without making it the whole thing an actual silent film? Let's just do a short with zero dialogue. Yeah. Using yeah. this silent film character as the inspiration for the whole thing, you know? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So Mr. Tickles was just this clown I created for an effects test. And then we're like, well, that's creepy as fuck. Let's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Often, often some of the best things come out of just fucking around and trying something. You're like, oh, I oh, got to yeah. use this. <laughs> it really is pretty much how, how all of our projects uh, start eventually. Or, or it's like, like especially in the, uh, our shorts lately, it's always kind of like, um, a test for ourselves like in this case it was you know like can we write something that's completely a visual medium like there's no there's no room for exposition because no one's opening their mouths and mm -hmm. talking you know right. um so uh so yeah that's kind of where the, it, for, for me that was the allure of doing that particular project was just like i want to tell a story nobody yeah. says anything we're going to do a silent film um but not you know yeah but, we, but and it's always fun. fun trying to figure out like okay so how do we tell the backstory of these people so we'll put a halloween bucket and some pizza on yeah. there and they're asleep on the couch the tv's on i feel like that Boom, tells a simple night. enough story yeah. you know sure. and then, uh, we honestly we just couldn't afford any effects for any monster stuff so that's why there's yeah. no monster stuff in that movie yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cuts before we get yeah. to the gruesome shit because we just don't have the money to do it right sure <laughs> But, you know, and, and sometimes, too, though, there's tons of movies out there that are examples where it's, you know, when it shows you what's happening, when you actually can visualize yeah. it, it doesn't pay off, you know? So right. that's one of those things when, it, you know, when your imagination comes to play, yeah. a lot of yeah. times, you know, that, that pulls in exactly what you need it to. And yeah. we've gotten some comments, though, where they're like, wait, so did he just tickle the little girl? And I'm like, <laughs> maybe, I don't sure. know. Sure. That's what you wanted to do. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get that. Hopefully, that's not coming from those freaky motherfuckers messaging you. <laughs> oh God! Why didn't you stab her in the stomach? Yeah. Yeah. You bastards! Stop it! Stop sending them messages with all this freaky shit. Dear Lord, they're probably they're not gonna listen to me, but hopefully they do. <laughs> Leave these guys alone. They're trying to do an honest days of work. They're trying to make it fucking weird. <laughs> So, so I, I got to say, my introduction to your guys' uh, work was downstairs. So okay. uh, I, I kind of, I was working on, you know, a, a video of my own where I was just watching a couple of uh, videos and asking people on my page, you know, to tell me some, 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 some different shorts. And somebody had mentioned uh, this, it was like a top 10 or something like that. And they're like, yeah, check out these. And so I watched and downstairs was in that. So oh, awesome. uh, luckily from watching that, I got yours. There was a couple other ones that were decent too. Uh, the, the Birch, I think was, was yeah, another the one. You guys, cool. that one was, that one was pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, that one was sweet. And there was a couple, but downstairs, absolutely. From like that moment, that night I posted on my page about it. I'm like, dude, if you guys haven't seen this, you have to watch this. Like <laughs> right up. It was just right up my alley. You know, it was like a very slapsticky comedy, you know, in, in the comedic sense, it wasn't oh, you're yeah. throwing yourself around, but. Right. It just, it stuck with me. I absolutely loved it. And so I, you know, got in contact with you guys. Well, so, yeah. but from there, you know, I kind of got into a rabbit hole and I start watching, you know, the next video and then the next video. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, like I'm just falling into all this stuff. But one right. of the things that I found in common with some of them was what you're getting at first or what you're visually thinking you're getting isn't what's going to end up at the end or, you know, what isn't going to end up being. So, right. You know, it kind of gave me a, a feel of like the Twilight Zone or, or, you know, just some of these things where it's like, oh, you know, I'm going to give you this little bit, but wait until the end. What, what, are some, what are some inspirations for you guys as far as that, that feel? Other than, you know, like Alfred Hitchcock and the Twilight Zone. Do you have other examples? Uh, Sam Raimi and Edgar Wright are, I think, two huge uh, inspirations. Also, the Creepshow movies. Yeah, I was yeah. Just gonna say that. As, as a kid... Um, Creepshow one and two. I'll show uh, you this right here. Oh, oh yeah, wow. dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I love that. That's fantastic. Jordy Verl. Jo yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, I think it's one of the best performances out of the eighties too. I'm Hell yeah, right now, Stephen King. Yes. Right? Who knew? Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. right. Uh, um, Sorry to cut you off. Kid, the cocaine knew. The cocaine. Yeah, but so yeah, I like so many of our shorts. I think are definitely 
loosely, like at least in the DNA, there's got to be some creep mm -hmm. show in there. Actually, uh, uh, Rupert was uh, originally it was um, meant to be a vignette for an anthology movie that we have still yet to make. Um, it will be, sure. will be made. We may be 70 years old when it finally comes out, <laughs> but it will be made. Um, but yeah, it was meant to be one of a vignette from that. And um, I, what I love about short uh, short form, and, and Rupert was definitely a big. Um, uh, uh, it was that was kind of like one of the tasks. Like I said, like we like to have like a task when we're making a project. Like uh, so, this one was definitely like, can we fit um, a, a, a firm three act structure in a short amount of time? You know, it's it's easy to do it in ninety pages. You got thirty pages, thirty pages, thirty pages, right? Right. So you got that's you, you three acts right there. But can you do it in in, in, in less thirty in, pages? In thirty pages, like yeah. ten pages, ten pages, ten pages. That's that's, that's a lot of stuff to put in there for people to unpack and still get that feeling of like, I just kind of, I just watched a movie, you know? Mm -hmm. I, um, I got that, that, that beginning, middle and end type of thing. Whereas like downstairs, that was just like, we have this location, let's just shoot yeah, something. Literally, I, it, it, that building was a place where my cousin, our cousin worked. I saw it, called Sam that night and was like, I just was in the scariest place I've ever been in my life. <laughs> and within two weeks, we had shot downstairs. Yeah, within like, two weeks, yeah. We, that was, we did not have any time. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, okay, like, damn. We treated that more like an actual movie where we like right. had a producer and we prepped and we played. Right. You know? right. Just, from, right. just from the beginning, from page one, we're like, this, I want this to be like a, like a creep show. Yeah, uh, I want it to be creep show. Uh, or, you know, or, or, um, or Tales from the Crypt or Tales from the Crypt, Twilight yeah. Zone, you know. Oh, Tales from the Crypt was like one of my favorite things growing up. Yeah. Tales, Tales from the Crypt. I, the, the Crypt Keeper, like it didn't even, matter. Even the theme music that you wrote for Rupert. Very much, is yeah. so heavily yeah. inspired by Tales from the Crypt, Creep Show, that whole era of yeah. anthology mm -hmm. horror. Yeah, that, you know. yeah, 80s and 90s anthology stuff, man. It was, it was great. I loved it. I still love it so much. Like, why isn't the Tales from the Crypt, why isn't that a show right now? Why, what? They almost, I don't they, understand. Yeah. Like HBO, yeah. get your shit together. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Have you, did you guys watch the new creep show that was on uh, Shutter? I loved it. I loved yeah, it. Dude. Yeah. Tara did a fantastic job yeah. with that. So show. many great that. moments. So many great moments. And it had what? this like fun cheese factor to it as Absolutely. well. Like, like you could tell it was done on purpose. We're going to be as cheesy as the original one yeah. but mm -hmm. shot today you know it's so cool right right uh, one of one of the last ones i'm trying to think but it was like the the Loch ness mm -hmm. uh, oh man that one was so fucking cool, so cool. and then real I, I think it was greg nicotero and tom savini worked on that monster together didn't they mm -hmm. oh it's just like <sighs> i mean like we we had a very fortunate experience one of our friends knows um greg nicotero and oh, we sweet. we went to this random you know christmas party that another makeup artist was throwing and fucking greg nicotero was there yeah it turned out like every like because like, like I, this is like where i get like really starstruck um i mean i get starstruck about anybody like my neighbor i think like so, so, <laughs> yeah like, I, I saw the book <laughs> <channel, like, laughs> <laughs> so um but yeah like but i really get starstruck I, I mean, in that night too, um, yeah, it's like my wife's a makeup artist, and so she was she was there, and 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 then our, our friend, it was one of these weird things. Our friend grew up in the horror movie. World, her so her she, dad was the camera operator uh, slash first zombie you see in Night of the Living Dead. Yeah. No Heinz They're coming to get you, Barbara. No shit. Yeah, wow. One of our best okay. Friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when we found that out, we almost threw up. Under the yeah. And so she was like, "Oh, look." So so we we got to this party. It was, it was like a uh, who's who in the makeup world. World, which turned out it really like, legitimately was like all like the greatest makeup artists that are like alive today were at like at this Robert Christmas party. Robert was there. I was yeah. like, I'm not going. Are you nice. kidding me? <laughs> 21. I'm not yeah. talking to him. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah. And then Heidi knows Greg Nicotero really well, and she's like, Oh, that's Greg. Greg's right there. And so we got to meet him. And, we, and I was, we, I've never we, been more satisfied. Right. Like he is such a cool dude. He spent half an hour with two dudes he'd never met, mm -hmm. telling us behind the scenes stories of Evil Dead too. You know, like, I'm just like, huh? yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Tell us more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, that's one of those things, though, too. You know, it's it's so cool when you have those, you know, those situations to where you meet these people and they give you the light of day. You know, they, they get, they, mm -hmm. you know, they sit here and talk with you and are more than happy. And, you know, honestly, that's like a situation right now. I'm a huge fan of your guys' stuff. And, Thanks. and, all of the people that I have on here that are giving me the light of day with this shit, you know, I look at my wife, I'm like, how the fuck am I doing this right now? Like, 
in a half hour, I'm interviewing these guys. I was just showing you these shorts that you were discussing about <laughs> 12 minutes ago. <laughs> I think <laughs> Which I, I have to say, Rupert was, uh, that was the one that I ran home and I'm like, babe, look, we get home, I have this thing I gotta pull up on, 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 the, on the TV. We have to watch this, cause you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna love it. And it yeah, gets about halfway Ooh. through and uh, we'll just say uh, the, the antagonist comes out and she's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I yeah. mean, just a genuine reaction of like, oh yeah. my God, like that we gotta to review. totally takes you off guard. We got a review, somehow that got into, uh, we actually, we just got, right before going on uh, this, we got the notification that Mr. Tickles was accepted into the Boneback Comedy Horror Festival, which is oh, amazing. Oh, no shit, and, hell uh, yeah. Rupert, Rupert was in that uh, in 2016. Okay. And because we were like, we think it's funny. And they thought it was funny. So they put right. it in. And our review <laughs> from that was a girl, this poor woman, I feel so bad. She's like, why is this even in here? This is not funny. I got to the point where the bad guy comes out and I had to run to the bathroom and have an anxiety attack. <laughs> I didn't finish the fucking thing. This is piece of shit trash. Yeah. I'm like, I, didn't like I, it. I was like, this is the best review I've yeah. ever gotten. Yeah, you're like, man, I'm glad you loved it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like this priceless PR. Like, so the woman has to leave due to anxiety attack. Like, <sighs> Perfect. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all, all the all the PR like the like the Exorcist or Blair Witch. There you are. Right, right, you guys right. are there. Yeah, I actually ended up sending them a copy of. I'm not gonna say who it was, but we. I ended up sending them a copy of Mr. Tickle, seeing if we could get a review. And within minutes, I got a response that was just nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god like did you watch it or is it just based on the name or what it's based boy on oh man, boy i'm not watching this <laughs> god damn that is i mean that's uh, that's uh the complete opposite of subtlety i guess uh, yeah it's, couldn't it's, ask for more tame short too <laughs> yeah Boy, oh boy! You're like, do you not have any any more letters on your keyboard other than those three, and that's all you can no. send me? Or... <laughs> Jesus! But at the same time, you have to respect that. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, yeah, I guess. You really stick yeah. to your feelings, and I yeah. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All right, so Rupert, uh, we're let's just say, was the antagonist always meant to? Was that always in the back of your mind that you were wanting to play that role? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Okay. Sam, you yeah. tell the story because. <laughs> okay, that. Okay, so that that's what I was wondering because I I thought that I heard a little bit about that there was something pre to it, but I, I'd like to hear it firsthand from you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I just think he's. Uh, well, okay, I'm not gonna say that, but uh, no, uh, he uh, when we when we wrote it, um, there's kind of like a subtle thing about kind of like rich versus poor and like, like how like kind of like these old white men are running, running things and acting like total babies. And then it's like the poor people or poor or working class people that have to you clean, know, up after clean up. After yeah. Them. Okay. And, yeah. And, yeah. Totally and, got that. So it would have been nice to have like a, an older white man, just like, you know, the stereotypical kind of, you know. That's we wanted a guy in his like 50s or 60s, yeah. you know. Okay. You know, his name's Rupert. We, we, we named him after after Rupert Murdoch. Uh, it's technically in the script, it's Rupert. It's Rupert, Rupert Grover. Grover, yeah. And it, was, it was Rupert Murdoch and Grover Nomquist. We, yeah. we were like, let's put those two yeah. dudes together and then like put him in a, 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 a diaper and, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and so, but yeah, so ideally we would have done that, but and then also like when it came down to the practicality of like, okay, we're actually going to do this. Um, I, you know, we didn't, we, we had, we were, this was the, that was the first one, first short where we actually did raise outside money, a little bit of outside money. We, we got like, I think it was like 12, 12 grand to do the whole damn thing. And so we were able to, you know, get things, but we weren't able to pay actors a lot. Um, okay. And so, so like everything that we had to like pay for was like you know the the, the bigger outside stuff like the like the you know lo locations and um and makeup and cameras and all that all that right. stuff. Well, actually, we you know they always say you know put your money where you see it like on the screen and, and bit, most of most of what we paid for that was all the stuff that you didn't see. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cameras. You're and, like and nope. And <laughs> Yeah, all the stuff that you see, actually, because when I say a location, we actually did not pay for that location. It, 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 it was deferred payments. We still owe them $9,000 if 
the Die Sit or Die movie ever yeah. gets made. I owe you. You're going to want to hold on to that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Um, so, but anyway, yeah. So, so we, I knew that we weren't going to be able to, like, more than likely, it was going to be tough to cast. And so I, I really, in my head, always kind of prepared myself for that. And, and somewhere down in the, in the process of, of writing it and then, uh, and then, you know, preparing to do it, I had it in my head. Like, you know, I think Lee's, like, perfect for this you know, he may be a little young but that might actually be le less on the nose might be kind of cooler um and uh so i had it in my head like you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna do this you know i did the last one you're gonna be on camera in this one and, and, and you're like this one no uh, <laughs> i'll be a security guard yeah i'll do that yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> right. uh, there was, there was, oh there my was god! The trials and tribulations. Yeah, for, no, definitely. And, oh, but anyway, so, and we held auditions for Rupert. Like yeah. we ended up holding real auditions. Yeah. And you know, when you put a notice out on Central Casting, free. Yeah. Must be willing to shave entire body. Must yeah. be willing to do poop scene. Wear a diaper. Must be willing to wear a diaper on camera. Must be willing to shoot for five <laughs> days for free. Yeah. You'd be surprised who comes out. People show up. People did. And you don't want to work with them. You don't. At least you say dude showed up with props. Man. Yeah, they came with props. Like, One guy started rubbing oh, our no. actress, Caitlin Riley, who you should look for on, um, she is blown up on yeah. TikTok. It's Caitlin Hello is her, uh -huh. I think she's got millions of followers now. Um, but she's so talented. Yeah. She was cast beforehand. So she came to the audition to read off camera for anyone who's auditioning for Rupert. One guy started yeah. like massaging her feet and stuff and she was like, well, I'm going to call the police. We yeah, have to yeah, stop yeah, this. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, and uh, then he started like getting kind of like violent and um, we asked yeah. him to leave. Yeah, you know? And, and then eventually can... I auditioned too in that in that scene because the people, the producers were like, well, Lee's not an actor. And I, I was, was like, the only one who's like, I've done <laughs> Okay, yeah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I played Pagan three times. Pagan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I auditioned funny. for the role, and I ended, up, I ended up getting it, which was nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, mean, I was pushing for it the entire time, going like, this is, he's going to be the one. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm saying, like, yeah, but we ended up auditioning him, and he was, hands down, like, the only one that could actually, like, deliver it. You know, um, okay. To get like, and I mean, it helps when you write it too. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, the ins, right. ins and out of that character. You know, so it's weird how that kind of comes off on screen. He was our baby. He's literally yeah. our baby, yeah. right? And so he, so he knew where to go with it immediately. Where a lot of people, they, you know, they didn't have that. They didn't have that luxury. So they didn't. When you come yeah. into an audition, like I'm an actor, so I I go into auditions all the time and, and fail miserably. 99.9999999999 percent of the time because more than likely because i just didn't have what like the people on the other end of that camera know like they're like no wait this character wait, wait yeah does this character does this guy even know what time period he's in no he never would have said that because three <laughs> scenes ago he blah blah yeah. blah like, oh i was giving this scene this morning yeah you give me, <laughs> yeah, you give me a, a half page oh, but, yeah. uh, anyway so but yeah and uh, i mean we also knew like we had to like um to ask, it was asking an actor a, a, a lot to yeah. do. And so it was much, it was at the end of the day, it was much, it was better to have you know, one of us do it. Um, and I mean, to, Lee got his ass kicked, man. I got, yeah, I was, I was the, the day after we finished, you know, we shot the climax the last night. And I literally, we had to make this harness for the spoilers. There's a, there's a bit of a strangulation bib scene at the end. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, this is this is cutting us off at one minute, and I don't want to oh. cut that story off. So, oh shit. So I'm gonna I'm gonna end this bit, and then I'm gonna restart it, and then we're gonna oh. we're gonna start off with that story because I really want to hear that. I don't want okay. to cut in the middle of the story. <laughs> we'll go to commercial. All right, <laughs> we're going to commercial. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Hey. hey. All back. right. We're back. All right, beautiful. So we were just starting on uh, on the specific scene there, the choking scene. Let's dig oh, into yeah, that. The bibby choking scene. Well, we we did this. Uh -huh. We wanted to get this shot where I was like, essentially, if we didn't build a rig for that bib, I would die. Right. And even right. with the rig, I would I was dying. Like I almost passed <laughs> that. that wide shot where I, like the, she's pulling full strength. I'm legitimately fading out of consciousness. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so the next day, I had cuts all over my legs, my toes, and then deep cuts 
around my all, my armpits because then we put this like little sash through my yeah, shirt attached the, to the yeah, rim. The string that like is the bib string just kind of comes under it, like it goes through the bib and then goes under the shirt under his arms and then ties so back she up could around. Pull up and it would be pulling my yeah. shoulders back basically as opposed to on my neck. Yeah, which didn't really work. Oh, I'll have to just okay. cut into my shoulders and shirt. <laughs> 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 I devised it. <laughs> Same built it. <laughs> um, yeah, nice, nice. And Damn. then I'm like, I, we'll do a fight scene outside, and then shooting, and I'm like, why doesn't this baby wear shoes? This is the dumbest <laughs> idea we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, why doesn't he wear knee pads? For Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, poor oh man, like, she was such a trooper, man. Because she had to do some stuff, like yeah, for free. I'm like, okay, so could you just like clean more shit off of my leg, get closer to the butt for this shot? Like, and she's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you read the script. How could you not figure? Oh, right. I touch the man's taint. I might touch it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I might see. It. <laughs> I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ima imagine if she walked into that not actually reading the script and already well, accepted the nice role. That's a lesson right there. <laughs> Always read the day's yeah. work. Yeah, and you're either going to quit or you're going to be like, shit, I messed up. But from here on out, I don't care if it's a Stephen King book. I got to take it in. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, on the last night, I'm like, I hope you trust me because I'm going to be on top of you in a diaper strangling you. <laughs> Damn. Like, oh, yeah, motherfucker. Bring it on. Yeah. yeah. Like, what you don't know is I've been dreaming about this for years. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I, I got to ask, what were some, like, when you, when you finally, you know, you, you realized that you were getting the role, Lee, what, what were some inspirations for how you wanted? Because obviously, you know, you can just take on uh, portraying a baby, but there's certain scenes with an intensity that you brought to it. What was it mentally that you were wanting to bring in? I mean, just certain things, even when uh, she might be screaming or saying things, and you're just like, shut the fuck up. Like, you get, yeah, like, there, very wild. Where, what was th some of that three, coming from? Three characters I was thinking of in that movie was, um, two of them were from Silence of the Lambs, actually. I wanted to be, like, a little bit of Hannibal Lecter and Buffalo Bill mixed uh. with Tommy Pickles from Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so like when he was a baby feet go tucked in voice gets kind of like speech impediment you know like and, <laughs> and higher sense. and then when i'm when i'm going in for the killer trying to like mentally fuck with her it's more hannibal lecter yeah. quiet not much going on and then angry turned into buffalo bill yeah i mean i feel like like he, like the, i think rupert thinks he's a hannibal lector but he's, he's so on him <laughs> more buffalo bill in there yeah, yeah. right um, and sam sam actually was the one that brought the like unhinged part out the most yeah if through his direction like he would come we would do a take and he'd be like that was that was good that was good lee you should do that mm -hmm. but try bringing it to you're at 90 Bring it to one hundred and fifty percent, or no? I think yeah. your your direction was always one hundred and thirty. Yeah, because one hundred and fifty would be too much. Too much. One hundred's not enough. One hundred and ten. Everyone goes there from time, from time to time. So uh, like a that's more. when I'm like screaming at her about like time out and yeah. we're gonna play hide and seek. Like that was Sam just going like yeah. bring it. To well, he did, he, the truth is, he did like he did an amazing take before that where it was all just fucking laser focused and like I don't need to give you the pleasure of freaking out right now. And that, so we had that as an option oh, okay. Was like but i you know like thinking about like where we have to get to with him with them and it, 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 like we're getting close to the end where they're it's literally fighting for each other's lives here uh we need to we need to start pushing through yeah. that wall to get outside he's got to get to that final fight yeah. so he's got to be like losing it i want to see a raging bull and this the thing is like you know you have like you, you gotta you i feel like as an actor you you always lean into like what you have you know mm -hmm. and if you have something that other actors don't have and in this case lee's size lee's a big effing dude and when you have this big effing dude freaking out and screaming at you it's terrifying like that's mm -hmm. just that's just yeah. freaking scary <laughs> Hannah, uh, you know you know sir, sir anthony has these great eyes you're not going to be paying attention to those amazing <laughs> eyes if he's screaming at you. Our camera, Dave, our, our director of photography, was down on the ground with the camera as I'm screaming. And when we cut, he didn't move. 
Yeah. He was just like, <laughs> there was actually like, a presentation of him in the trial. <laughs> yeah. Somebody's getting chalked just to like outline his body. All right. <laughs> there goes another one. God damn it. Quit killing people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that's when we were like, okay, I think we got that shot. Let's move on. If, yeah. If, if right. He can't move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. That that, that is crazy. I love I it. You remember, know, because it was. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I just remember Caitlin uh, Riley coming up to me. At, we premiered at Screen Fest, and she okay. came up to me afterwards, and she's like, "You motherfucker." We when we shot that scene, we shot her coverage first. Yeah. So all of her reactions were to this guy who was talking like this. Yeah. And he's going to do blah blah blah. And then we shot mine in the take we use. I'm like screaming. <laughs> She's like, you fucking cut back to me, and I'm like, mm, while you're screaming at yeah. me, like. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> you learn though, you know, these things that you have, um, I think she yeah. was just pissed. She's like, you cut, you chose your best performance and my worst performance and put them back to back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, your worst performance is a million times better than any performance. So don't no, worry she, about I mean, it. She's right. But it, is, it was a learning, that was a learning lesson because I feel like and this is for anybody who's, who's directing, like, uh, in a scene, figure out ahead of time, who's the dominant yeah, one. Because even if even if if it's a, a scene between somebody, you know, uh, somebody ordering coffee, you know, somebody is the dominant one in that scene. Yeah, you have to find what that dominance is, and then shoot them first because that means if, if they're the dominant one, that means the other person's reacting to that yeah. dominance. Oh, and so okay. that was something, something that I, that like hit me like a ton of bricks when we were editing and going like, oh my god, yeah. always remember this. Whoever is in the dominance, like shoot them first. You and know? then that's when we realized why James Spader is casting so many things because he's obviously the dominant one, and it's so clear. You put him in the scene, he's gonna be the dominant one. You don't have to worry about yeah, that. Don't yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, film it in succession and it'll work. Yeah. You know what, Dominic? You get the spade. You get the spade. You get the spade. Yeah. You just call. Just call. A, just call them in. Have them on hand and and uh, hey, you're not working. Come on in. Better get in yeah. here. We need Dominic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, with uh, I gotta cut into another one. You guys. You guys have a friend indeed. So, so this is kind of a, a oh, yeah. odd, interesting story. And uh, once again, another one that you're watching and uh, by the finale of it, you're like, oh, okay, I did not see that. Oh. I didn't see that coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, shit, that, uh, that, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, after a, after a good start to your day watching something like that, tell me about the, 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 the blood retching scene. Uh, my man straight up looks like he's puking blood. Oh, yeah, he is, uh, we had a little Hudson sprayer with a full of fake blood. And our buddy Tripp, who did an amazing job, we tortured, we love torturing our actors. Yeah, he's apparently. also he's a brilliant director yeah, as well. Totally he and his wife, him are and his amazing. wife are amazed. They do music videos, commercials. Yeah. Oh, Everyone okay. we work with is so talented. And they, what's nice is they go, they move on, you know? Yeah. They, <laughs> they, they, like, <laughs> they, they've, been, they've been like shooting in like Vietnam. And, yeah. Like, but he, yeah. he had this Damn. hose attached to his face and shooting into his mouth. And I was just pumping blood. Yeah. Oh, so oh, okay. In, his mouth and then coming out. Uh, we learned. I learned that watching the making of The Exorcist. That's how they did the the split pea soup gag. Yeah. You know, have it shoot into the mouth. There you go. Yeah, we have there it. There he yeah. is. Oh, God, that's beautiful. Yeah. A, you know, but what a shitty technology. You know what I'm saying? The CEDs. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a bummer. But as far as the art piece. Very nice. I love yeah. it. Yeah, I, I, I loved uh, I loved that gag, you know, because it was one of those things where you always see the hose behind and it just yeah. looks like a straight yeah. shooting. But come, I mean, it was legitimately coming from his mouth. I'm like, God damn! Like, did he just, <laughs> just swallow all that and then puke it back up? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Gross. Yeah. There was like there was a moment where I pumped that thing too hard and the hose snapped off <laughs> and it became suddenly a Vietnam movie where I got blood <laughs> squirting out everywhere and I'm like I can put it back I can put it back like shooting out. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had that on. Oh my god, <laughs> that is uh, awesome. That, that is was, awesome. That one we we did for that was for a festival, the no budget film festival where we're like, okay, once again, our goal is spend zero dollars making. Usually that's our goal because we don't have, have any money, money, but you know. now it's part of the festival. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, how, much, right. how much are we getting? Well, the festival's called the No Budget Film Festival. So. Yeah. 
so it's a, yeah, this is this is a passion yeah. project, um, and, and obviously we'd be throwing money around. Like uh, I, right, also, <laughs> right. Like, the desert, beautiful place to shoot. Yeah, not a fun place to shoot, but no. just beautiful. And yeah. I thought a, a cool conversation would be someone going to the desert to kill themselves runs into someone who's desperate to survive and has right. and is about to die, mm -hmm. and like what that weird conversation yeah, those two like. forces. especially if the guy who went to kill himself was a sociopath basically yeah yeah and then he got he, he get he, he, my man sam gives him the water and he's like what the fuck? That's my only water. Like, <laughs> I'm out here to kill myself. I, I might need a drink. I've had a gun in my mouth for the last hour. Yeah. Yeah. And then the fact that he, like, his, he realizes yeah. his whole purpose in life was to save the person has nothing to do with the person at all. Yeah. You know? yeah. 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 That, yeah, that I was, mean, again, that was, a, it was just a kind of necessity, kind of pulled that thing together. We were like, we, let's try and do something for a festival. We found, Lee found the, the, uh, the No Budget Film Festival and, you know, there was like a time frame we had to get it done. And so we called some friends and didn't spend a dime, but we we're like, listen, like, well, here's, here's a script and we're just going to drive out to the desert for a day and, and, and do this thing. And, uh, you know, if you could, if you can bring some of your nicer equipment, that'd be nice if you can't. <laughs> Yeah, um, and you can't. But you know, we, we shot it on a five D. When uh, our buddy Dave, who, who does all of our stuff, he like he's just a master. He made that thing look like it was an Ari. You know. Uh, yeah, we actually got. Um, we we talked to the head of the festival afterwards, and they asked us how much we spent on it, and we were like, "What do you mean? How much did we spend it's on no it? No budget. Yeah, it's a no budget film. We didn't spend any money on it. They're like, "Come on, everyone spent something. The person who won the festival spent something on it." And we're like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> Not tell our group. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Dude, and for some reason, I'm always in charge of craft service on these shoots. Not anymore. So I, 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 I did, I did spend a little bit of money, not in the making of it, but just to like feed the crew. You know, yeah. we're going to the desert. I think it'd be nice to bring a picnic. Well, I ended up forgetting all of the food back in my apartment, <laughs> oh, no. except for a pallet of water and a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. Yes. <laughs> Oh, man, man, that's <laughs> awesome. In the desert, we had 90 degree water yeah. that tasted like plastic because the bottles were melting. Yeah, because we didn't bring the cooler. Because we forgot the cooler. Because the sandwich stuff is in the cooler. <laughs> oh, my and God. It's flaming hot Cheetos. And we're literally like, my our buddy Trip is crawling on the desert ground going like, it's so hot. And we're like, come on, stop complaining. It's fine. Flaming hot Cheeto? <laughs> flaming hot Cheeto? Would you like a flaming hot Cheeto? Maybe some hot water. <laughs> and he's like, it's really hot. Oh my guys, God. Guys, it's hot. And we're like, it's fine, it's fine. It's it's fine. And then about probably halfway through our shoot, our sound mixer, who's wearing cowboy boots, is like, uh, guys. And he lifts his foot up, and his soul has melted off of his shoe. And we're like, oh, shit. What are you doing on the ground? What are you doing on the ground? What are you doing on the ground? He's down there boiling like an egg after you guys told him to stay there for an hour. He's like, well, shit, I don't know. So, like yeah. sunburnt and blistered. <laughs> just, that was his makeup. Yeah. Oh, man. That is awesome. That's, so what, what did you guys do as far as like for just his look and just his disheveled, I mean. That was uh, all uh, Andrea. Yeah, we just went okay. through, uh, basically went through my closet Um and uh, found a bunch of stuff that I, you know, I, I, I never get rid of anything. I should, I should, uh, but I don't. I should, you know, I should donate to Goodwill, but I, I don't. And uh, <laughs> so I had like all this, you know, these clothes. I was like, I don't want that. No, I don't want that. We um, can destroy that. We can also, destroy that. I do yeah. remember purposefully going with blue shirt, brown pants, because that's what Ash Williams wore. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. And then one of his like sleeves it. ripped off. Yeah. It's because it, that's the arm that Ash Williams sleeves like his. So sick. Based on a horror movie. Yeah. That is so horror sick. <laughs> I did not pick up on that, but shit, that is cool as hell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that rules. Yeah, it rules. And that, that and those stupid white shoes that I was wearing those were my shoes, and, I, and they got destroyed in that shoot. And I, and um, honestly, none of it. None of it was worth it. Those it was all shoes. worth it for that one. For no. the two wide shots where we see your shoes, it was worth no, it. No, nothing was worth it. I, don't care. I hate that film. Those shoes were much better. <laughs> <laughs> Missed those shoes. The white ones? The white ones, yeah. They were like... <laughs> They're like, they look like they're the worst, but they were the best dancers. <laughs> Man, I know. It was, it was an interesting look. You had the full suit, and then it pans yeah. down. And it's like... Bright white shoes. Yeah, my man had like... Uh, you know, just a, a regular, 
wear whatever to work day. Toby Spring. Good. Toby yep. Spring, yeah. That desert, yeah. Desert, the desert took my shoes. Mm -hmm. and, and, <laughs> and, our, and our friends' cowboy boots. And most of our friends' body. And most of our friends' body. <laughs> <laughs> He's still out there. It's the skeleton but left of him. The film is yeah. forever. Yeah. <laughs> or a digital medium. <laughs> Canon <in front>, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sam, I gotta, I gotta dig into as far as uh, you know. On top of directing and acting, also you do, a, you do the scores for a lot of these. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so tell me, how did you, how did you get into that? What were some of your early inspirations to where you know you're like, man, maybe I can, maybe I can start tossing some music over some of these. Um, we needed a guy to do the music. <laughs> I've been a okay. musician uh, for for a while, um, and and it was take, it was taking that very seriously for a while, and uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we just kind of I had my own little kind of studio already set up, you know, in my apartment, you know, uh, you know, you can do so much now with a, with a damn laptop, it's great, um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and so yeah, so then it just kind of just naturally kind of went in, into that. But actually, uh, the the first movie that I ever did the music for was the was our first short together, Los Los Duelistas. Um, again, that was that's a short film too. Actually, now that I, I didn't even really put it together. But the music, mm -hmm. we wanted it to be kind of. Um, uh, uh, well, I'd, I'd say like one of. I think it's safe to say that our probably top three favorite filmmakers is uh, Sergio, Sergio Leone. Leone. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, oh, okay. and then Ennio Morricone is my favorite composer, like hands down. Um, okay. And so we're like, we like it would be it would be funny if we had like this like like you know, as legit as possible um type and you know type score and and then and then it came down to like doing it and like how do you you can't but <laughs> um, but you try and it, and it, it, it's 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 kind of fun um but yeah that's where that started and and then it just kind of kind of just kept happening that way yeah lee can make some really great uh, beats as well you know yeah. um and the, uh, and, and music videos right Exactly. My man. Exactly. <laughs> My man. There he is. Uh, don't, don't, don't act modest now. Shit. <laughs> um, what, what can you say, Sam, as far as like when, when you were coming up, what were some of your, what were some standout uh, compositions in, in movies that, you know, really kind of, once you started doing this, you know, you were like specific movies wise. Oh, uh, well, in, uh, the good, bad, and the ugly. Any other, any other score? The good, bad, and the ugly. Uh, okay. Basically, anything any Omar Khan's ever done. Uh, one of one of my favorite scores too is uh, from the movie Mission. I, I love that movie. But then, I mean, I I, I love all of, like the standard the standard. Like you know, Alan like Sylvester. like Alan Silvestri is a god in my opinion. Okay. Uh, the Back to the Future soundtrack is the it, it is. To me, like they always say that you know the music has got to be a character in the film. There's no better uh, example of music being a character in a in a film than Back to the Future. Ah, me. I'm gonna argue that. Mm. We're, we're about to get into our first brotherly argument on this. <laughs> Jaws. Jaws. Yes. Jaws in that movie is a, is one of the main characters. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I mean, it could be argued that, that, that the music, the, the music, and the shark are kind of the same. The same. Yeah. The villain. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it, yeah, that's yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. Um, recently, uh, Johan Johansson's uh, score for Mandy is hands down my favorite score in oh. uh, like the last ten years, I, I, easily. Um, I, I absolutely, and it's so tragic that he's that, he, that he's gone. Um, right. But he, at least he he was able to give us that before he left. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I think it's. I think I, I I'll, I'll listen to that. You know. Oh, I'll just on loop, especially like if we're like when writing, like I, there's something about that score I can get into a writing hall, so uh, so easily. It's just it's just beautiful and haunting, and there's there's it's visceral. It's it's everything. Um, yeah, that's what's so cool about film music is that you can you can do that. Like you, you have to do that. You that's part of the job is to is to create a visceral reaction just with just with music, just with sound. You know, sure. and it has to accompany. You can't take away from the visual like the visual and the and the audio have to be married they have to be saying you know they have to be in a conversation at least you know um mm -hmm. it's, really, it's really cool really cool stuff okay to get yeah yeah <laughs> hell yeah get all i love that music theory yeah, I don't yeah. <laughs> well i mean that that's cool though you know because uh, i guess hitting on that point jaws had to have been one of the earlier i saw i probably saw that when i was like six years five or six years old and that's got to be one of the earlier memories of just a sound, just the music being mm -hmm. terrifying. I don't have yeah. to see anything. I don't have to see anything coming out of the water. This oh, music yes. that's pounding is scaring the shit out of me to where yeah. I don't even want to look at the screen. Yeah, <laughs> totally. and all you need are those, like, just those two notes, the bum, bum, 
And you're mm -hmm. just like, fuck it, I'm out of the water, yeah. let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, out of here. Yeah. yeah. But apparently Spielberg thought that was a joke when, yeah. when uh, what's his name, showed it to him. John Williams. John yeah, Williams. John Williams. Well, it's like, when what's his name? John yeah. Williams. <laughs> John Williams is uh, like, a joke? I, I, I literally got an orchestra together. To, to <laughs> That's a joke to you? That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many people I had to acquire for this and how many hot yeah. snows and water I had to buy for this? Yeah. <laughs> it comes back. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Another, another dimension, too, is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, That's, yeah. you know, oh. not even a score. Something just, just the, the, the camera. The camera. Yeah. 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 You know? Tell me is, over, man. Oh, yeah. That, rest that rest, rest in peace. Yeah. When you go back in time and, and, and watch movies, that one... It, it excels in so many different directions. Like, it goes beyond horror movie. That movie mm -hmm. is fucking pure brilliance. I watched, have you watched the, the uh, Joe Bob Briggs talking about how that movie is the best movie ever made, Texas Chainsaw? <laughs> I haven't seen that. I know what you're talking about, though. I've watched a lot of his episodes. I haven't uh, seen yeah, that one. Uh, I went into that going like, no, it's not. And then by the end, I'm like, that movie is the best motherfucking movie ever made. <laughs> <laughs> It's good, but the best? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So, I, so I personally, just, this is just a preference thing, but I, I like Texas Chainsaw 2. Yeah. That's true. Oh, That's, I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I, I loved how, you know, the weird thing is, too, is like for years and years, even after starting to be a collector, digging into actors, directors, and all, I didn't realize Toby Hooper made that. I mean, this was like probably like, yeah, I don't know, probably 10 years ago. But all of a sudden I'm looking, I'm like, holy shit, the same guy made this movie. And it's silly as shit. It's silly shit. so ridiculously yeah. silly. Although I have to say, Leatherface's intro in part two is still one of the scariest moments Dude, in any movie. I have Just to agree. That I moment, have to the agree. The light turns on and the chainsaw comes yeah. out. Yeah. Fucking terrifying. Every time yeah. I watch it. Yeah. <laughs> And then the scene in the back of the truck, too, when he's got that body yeah. on top of him and he's, like, shaking it and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. For, for being as goofy as it is, there is a yeah. lot of scenes in that movie that are haunting. Dude, the scene where, what's her name, who who we were lucky enough to meet, why can't, Car Car Caroline Williams? Yes, Caroline Williams. Mm -hmm. She When she's tied up and Leatherface cuts off the dude's face and puts it on her. <laughs> like, uh, Fucking crazy! That movie, I'd like. I we strive to make a movie that, that has that, that many cool. levels of like yeah. seriousness and also just the most hilarious thing you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Like be able yeah. to like like have like on, like honest scary bits and then chainsaw fight and then chainsaw fight. <laughs> that's that's it. That's it. I mean, My man Dennis on. Hopper. With Dennis Dennis Hopper. Hopper. With, yeah, he's just strapped with chainsaws. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> crazy ass hopper dude just let him go Take it just, all down. just killing it <laughs> yeah that's a case that's a case of when you cast a movie you cast just you cast someone you know you can just let him go yeah just you let him give go. him a chainsaw and let him run through the set <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah. Can do that. yeah yeah you got lines written down for him take him out he's got him he's he'll, got he'll just there, he'll just say him at, at, right on scene <laughs> yeah. it doesn't matter these are gonna be better yeah. <laughs> what did, he, did he just say bring it all down all right say it like 40 more times that's fine yeah, just we got shout <laughs> <something>. <laughs> yeah. with uh with your guys's characters what would you say are some of your favorite well I'll, I'll even ask what is your favorite that you guys have portrayed in your guys's shorts thus far my favorites i slip shoppers is my favorite character i was still trying to find a way like Spoiler alert, he doesn't end up very well at the end of that, but we're still <laughs> trying to figure out a way to do a sequel where he's the star. <laughs> oh, man. That like is so sick. There's very, there's a possibility that we could write downstairs to upstairs. Yeah. We're thinking they, that's you were mentioning <laughs> the attic before? Maybe it's in yeah, the attic. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We're still calling yeah. it downstairs, but it takes place in the attic. <laughs> up there. <laughs> <laughs> and it takes up there. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Um, well, I, I should ask Lee what what's the what's the favorite part that you've portrayed that you've acted? Oh, um, I guess I mean Rupert's the biggest one that that I got to do, but I had a lot of fun. There's a very simple short. It's not a horror short actually that we did a long time ago called A Man in the Park. A Man in the Park. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that was some fun because I got to be just goofy and <laughs> be yourself. I just got to be myself yeah. and. Yeah. and I'm a weird, goofy dork, so it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's something about having to shave 
underneath my entire body <laughs> man, just made Rupert an uncomfortable process for me. Yeah, I, I could, I could, I could imagine. Yeah, <laughs> With, it, 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 hairs, yeah. man. Big, big. <laughs> 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 All right, Sam. What about you, buddy? Uh, I think I, I don't know. Um, I think I like Toby Spring from from a friend in deep because. That guy's probably, it was just not acting. It was, that's just who I am. I'm a narcissistic <laughs> asshole. And it's nice to not have to pretend every once in a while. I don't know if you've done this, but the, the less work we have to do, the more we enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, you just imagine, I guess I imagine the script, and it just says you pan down to a narcissistic asshole, and you're like, oh, yeah, 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 I, I got it. I'm, I, got, I, 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 I can do this. I, I got this yeah. part. <laughs> am, I, am I cast yet, or is that yeah, you know, a question? Just throws the script in a fire. Just like, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, I got this. It's better. I got it better. No more. Uh, he embodies the Dennis Hooper. He's like, I, I yeah, don't need yeah, any yeah. lines. I got it. But Dennis Hopper, my mother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like uh, either either way, yeah. You know, a little Jaws, a little Dennis Hopper. Either way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so another one I got to ask about too is is my job. Where, where, where? What was what was the inspiration behind this? That was definitely one that I was like, oh shit. Awesome. Yeah, that, I, I love even it. Remember how we came up with that one? We yeah, had that, a fake gun. I think. I want to say that was that was our short. That was our second short that we did together yeah. mm -hmm. um, as 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 grown ups. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, I can't I can't remember. I was delivering pizzas at the time, uh, mm -hmm. okay. so there was that, and there and I, and then I had been delivering pizzas for like three years, and I had come I had come back from being on like tour with a band that I really loved and that thing just fell apart. And okay. uh, it was like one of those things where like life was just like, fuck man, I feel like I'm having like a midlife crisis, but I'm only 22 or 23 <laughs> or whatever, you know, when, when we did that. And uh, yeah, so uh, like maybe that's where it's, I don't know. I can't remember, but like we, at some point we came up with the idea of the twist at the at the end of that. And then, and then, then all of a sudden it became, yeah. it became fun. Well, so I think we thought it was funny that a guy spends an entire short complaining about his job. And then when you find out what his job is, it's this horrible thing, but once he does his job, he's like, "Oh, never mind. I like doing this job." Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. it's oh, awesome. It awesome. Yeah, because yeah. well, so that's how everyone is at their job. I feel like is you go, "I fucking hate this job," but then there are times where you're like, "You know what? This job's not bad." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I can say, you know, my my digestion of this, it kind of felt like it was like almost like. A, like an Ari Aster moment. And here's where I'm going to get into this. So I watched it, all right? And then I go back because I'm like, wait, wait, wait. It, earlier in the, in the bit, you're talking about being alone and having nobody and no family. But then I look at your phone when you're getting a text. And in the background, there's a little girl. So I'm like, <laughs> is there something more to this? I probably watched that thing fucking six times in a row because I'm like, there's something I'm missing, I think, here. <laughs> what, no. what what was there or what was going what no. was going on as far as was just your phone <laughs> <laughs> you, i remember you specifically wanted that picture because it was a painting of this from the, like a specific artist i can't remember what the backstory was okay. but i remember you going like this should be the picture on his phone because of who the artist was and then oh, we very okay. quickly forgot about that i don't remember that at all i just remember not having any photos that weren't like people that we knew yeah. And, uh, and, oh. and, and I, for some reason, had this quote that I can't remember. I really can't remember. But yeah, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I had, a, I had yeah. like an art. Thing. It was one of those things where I feel like we were Sam. I remember you coming up with it, going like, "This will, this will give a clue that maybe he's not an actual pizza delivery guy." Because why does he have this like classical art in the background on his phone? Hey, I don't know why pizza hey, guys don't like classical as a art. Pizza <laughs> guy, I, 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 that resembles that remark. <laughs> yeah, we can we can appreciate fine art. Right, right. Just because well, with pizza pies. It, it was it was funny though because it was one of those things where I like I said I watched it over and over and I'm like okay there's something more I'm needing to pick up here and ultimately I decided on I was like no I think it's just a picture or it was just something that was a, that was a background I'm yeah. not missing anything it, like, you know in hindsight it's, it's, that was probably a bad idea to put that in there because it's so kind of weird. Um, it takes away from the actual text that pops up. Um, oh, okay. I, I, I know I've like, talked to people going like, wait, what? 
There was a text. There was a text. I can't remember what the boss says. Okay, never mind. The twelve. <laughs> yeah, the, the 12. Yeah. yeah, and so I don't know. That's another thing. You know, you live and learn. You know. Well, I, I can't say that. I think it's just the fact that I'm kind of a fucking moron when it comes to some of this shit. And I think too much about what's what's being digested. Not at all. I, Not at all. <laughs> I remember so, actually getting a comment on that short going, uh, the pizza guy would have known the apartment beforehand. And I'm like, did you not watch the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my God. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Was that, was that your actual, your pizza uniform? Because I was trying to pull up what the no. little badge was on the shirt. What was, no, was that? Was, um, what was that? My father-in-law owned um, a, uh, a a restaurant in Bo um, Bowling Green, Kentucky, that is now a bar called Tidballs. And uh, Tidballs, Tid, Tid, oh. T I D, Tidballs. Oh, okay. I heard Tidballs too. I'm like, damn. Yeah, like, Tidballs is a yeah. great name for a bar. <laughs> they 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 welcome everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got tits, you got balls. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, everyone's welcome. No, it's yeah. called Tidballs, and man, like it's one of the best like music venues I've actually been to. It's like a little hole. Okay. It's like when I imagine the the cavern that the Beatles played in in mm. Liverpool. It's like, kind of, it's like it's that kind of thing. It's like just this tiny hole that, man, some of the bands that come out of in Bowling Green, Kentucky, and man, some of the bands that come out of it. Anyway, it was originally um, uh, my my, my father in law's restaurant back in like the seventies, and somehow I got that shirt, and it looked. And we had we had a matching green visor for some reason. Green so visor, not, yeah. I choose not to talk about that. Where did you get that <laughs> green visor? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't know. The truth is, we had, we had shirt for, I had the shirt first, and there was like a there was like a uh, just like a dollars a dollar clothing store down down the street, and it just I saw it like yeah, dude, I oh, have to have that's that. The hat. It was years before we even. Shot. <laughs> He's just like I need, that. I, need a, I need a serious poker visor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're thinking that nobody can see your eyes, and it's just like yeah. way fucking up here. Like all right. Yeah. That didn't work. <laughs> yeah. I want to feel like a banker when I am the bank in Monopoly. Right? <laughs> yeah. When I'm when I'm when I'm counting my actual Monopoly money. I don't have any actual money. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> let me so let me let me ask you guys. So this is kind of a bit that I do sometimes, and I want to ask you being a, a fan of video stores. So if we're going in and we walk into the video store and we see the employee picks, you know what I'm talking about? The staff picks, you know, the little section there. So, mm -hmm. so Sam, uh, uh, Sam and Lee both, I've actually, I've picked uh, one of your shorts each for this. So first, Sam, I'm going to ask you, okay, if, if downstairs had a physical release and it's up on the wall, what three other movies would you want next to this bad boy? Yeah. If you, you walk in and you're like, oh shit, downstairs is right there. Oh man, I want to watch that and that and that too. So, so films that would, like, I would, I would love for it to be in the company of, mm -hmm. um, geez, um I would have to say, well, Evil Dead Two would be would be yeah. would be the ultimate, and then maybe uh, Naked Gun t uh, Files from Police Squad. <laughs> uh, oh shit! <laughs> nice. And then nice. Uh, I had to go with a third, I and mean, I just say Remains of the Day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a it's a period. The hell is that? Starring, it's a period it's piece so... starring Emma Thompson. There's a lot of British people drinking tea, but it's fascinating. And it's lots of like heavy size. What would you actually pick, though? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I mean, I just feel like, like if you're going to lure people in, like educate them. No, like, no, yeah, no, no, joking, joking. <laughs> oh, this is just a pretentious asshole. Um, this guy. Um, I, I, okay, and then, um, I, God, I don't so know. Got evil oh, 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 Chopping Mall. That would be really good to go with, with downstairs. Oh, like, like, oh, yeah. Triple feature, Evil Dead 2. Um, Chopping mall and, and then maybe like you know like for the for the midnight showing downstairs mm -hmm. tagging on at the end there. Um, I like it. That would, All right, be awesome. That is a beautiful trio. All right, Lee. So now if I if I asked you, you walked in, you saw staff picks, and you saw Rupert up on the wall. What what other what other couple of movies are you gonna have with it, man? Um, I'm uh, okay. I know, I know one. I know one. I know one. Okay. I don't. I honestly don't know. I know that. Um, um, Pink flamingos would probably be one. Of Ooh, them shit! Yeah. And okay. then, uh, Silence of the Lambs, and probably Basket Case. Oh, that's good too. I was gonna say Society. Society. Oh yes. Yeah. That, oh, that is society. Yeah. <laughs> such a wild out, one. I'm switching out one of those for Society. Doesn't matter which one. It is. <laughs> <laughs> what a wild movie! God, isn't that, that is that movie. like Brian Yuzna? Yeah, dude, like, oh, 
it's yeah. just it's such a weird movie. You're like, why am I watching this? And then you, at a certain point, you're like, this is why I'm watching this. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that whole ass face is like, <laughs> yeah. what did I get? What did I fall into? Like, I don't think I, I don't think this is what I rented. Yeah, oh, somebody yeah. somebody rec recorded a VHS over a Betamax, and this is what <laughs> yeah. I got. Like, Whoa! <laughs> the weirdest thing, the acid is kicking in, but I don't remember taking it. <laughs> <laughs> when he reaches out the dude's butt and then pulls him inside out through his eyes. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Dude, cocaine, man. Like, there's definitely Dear Lord. I feel like cocaine horror should be a subgenre of <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh my god. That is funny. Well that that's actually gonna bring into our next bit. So this is uh this is gonna be our finale bit. I'm gonna have two separate ones for both of you guys. Before we get into that, this is your opportunity if you wanna pitch what you guys have going on. Just give a shout out. This is all you fellas. Uh, well, I mean, I, I would like to just pitch our YouTube channel. We're, con we're constantly coming up with, we're trying to come up with new things. Uh, this COVID-19 experience has been a very strange thing. Um, we've been trying to get our, our features put together. So that's recently why, why the channel has been kind of let, like it's been put on the back burner for a little bit because mm -hmm. we've, we've been working on trying to get a, a feature made. Um, and it became so freaking close. And then all of a sudden this global <laughs> pandemic happens and everything shuts yeah, down. And, so uh, and then, yeah, so now it's kind of back to the old drawing board. Um, but yeah, if, if, if we're going to pitch anything, I mean, you know, just keep, a, you know, go, go to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe because we will be putting more content up uh, yeah. soon, sooner rather than later. Um, and then, you know, uh, I don't want to I don't want to bring politics into it. But recently it's been very heavy politically and uh I do a lot of yelling into my phone on TikTok. So if you want to check that out too. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I know it, it is a uh, very heavy rants and I, I, I was, I was on the, on the verge of, uh, of digging into that, but you know what? You have plenty of fucking content out there <laughs> for people to divulge into. So yeah. I, I, I leave that, you know, I'll leave that to the channel. Check, oh, yeah. check out both of those for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, this is this is the finale scene so it kind of falls into it's a, it's a little bit of a trend on on instagram here in the horror community where people spell out things with the first letter of movies so what i did was i went in my horror collection i grabbed a couple of movies to talk about and and uh, three of the movies spell out sam three of the movies spell out lee so we're just going to talk about you know oh, cool. kind of what when you saw them what you thought of them, if you've seen them, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna start right out. We're gonna start with Lee, all right? All right, so first of all, for the letter L, we're gonna spell out Lee, L-E-E. -E. For the letter L, I got a little movie called Little Odic. Have you guys ever seen this movie or heard of it? No, what is Little Odic? Dude, that? stop it. You know, have you ever heard of Jan Svankmeyer? No. No, that sounds beautiful though. What Dude. Is it? Okay, so this is, it's a, it's a gin story. So basically what happens is this family is unable to have a child. So the dad goes out and he's cutting down a tree and the mother somehow just materializes that this tree stump is a baby. So that's what you see here. Oh, whoa, okay. Whoa. Right. So the tree stump is a baby. It's this old wise tale called Otisonic. It's based on that. So in the process, they're trying to, you know, they're treating this tree stump like it's a baby, feeding it bottles and different things. Well, this fucking thing grows bigger and bigger, and they start feeding it people. There's stop wait, wait. animation in Please this. Send me There's, the title yeah, of this movie. Yeah, dude, it is, it is so, so good. My wife actually bought it for me one year for my birthday, and I'm like, what the fuck is one of my favorite things ever in my collection? It's so oh, yeah, awesome. I yeah, I gotta yeah. see it. Please send very, very it. wild. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So the very first one we got. Jan Svankmeyer's Little Odic uh, from 2000 as well. So not okay. you know, too, too old, but, mm -hmm. you know, right, right about there. Mm -hmm. uh, for the second one, I had to ask you guys about the one and only Ernest Scared Stupid. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking him for sure. You know yeah. what? All That's right, man. All the choices I made for the video store, <laughs> Ernest Scared Stupid times three next to Rupert. That's all. Yes. <laughs> yes. Love it. Love it. Tell me about your earlier experiences watching that one. There was a time when I was a child where if I turned over on my side, that was it for the rest of the night. I'm not turning over because <laughs> I know what's behind me. It's one of the fucking trolls. <laughs> oh, that oh my God. That scared the shit out of me as a child. Just that, oh, that yeah. like stands out in my head. 
of turning right. over in your bed and seeing that troll, you know? Growling in your face. <laughs> the old the old the old meak. Yeah. Yeah. And then I remember I always wanted to know what that gross gack was that they were using in that movie. Like eventually I found out it was like some petroleum jelly yeah, shit. KY jelly or but oh really? As a kid you're just like, what? That, that that can only be actual troll saliva. Yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. The troll spit. That's what it looks yeah. like. Yeah. They went over across seas and they just stole it right out of one's mouth. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> not a fun job for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I gotta say, scary. not not a scary moment, but the scene where he gets crushed in the trash compactor. Terrifying. No, yeah. that's terrifying. Yeah. Think it about is. That. It is you're scary. Now, yeah. If you're a small child yeah. and you see a guy put it. And then you have a small yeah. trash compactor in your kitchen. Like, yeah, yeah that's yeah. you know, you get your whole body stuck in that. You're gonna you're gonna you're, wind up a cube. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last but not least, this is the the last letter here once again. E and I have to. I I I, I, I chose this for a specific reason. So I got my edition of the old Evil Dead oh, Two. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. All right. So Lee, yeah, this but, is what I got. This is what I gotta ask. All right. So I know in one of your, uh, you, you had a video, uh, Evil Dead 2 saved my life. And you're yeah. mentioning uh, you made props when you were younger. You made some, some Evil Dead 2 I, props. I had, a, uh, I had a, a whole cosplay thing of Ash when I was, when I was younger, where like, I had a blue like, denim shirt that I just ripped up. And like, it was, the props were mainly like a broomstick instead of a boomstick. You know, things ah, like that. Ah, <laughs> OK. Okay. And I would just act that movie out all the time. Mm -hmm. I was yes. obsessed with that movie. To his detriment. <laughs> to my detriment. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. And then, then a bit, you're knocking yourself out. Yeah. yeah, knocking myself. I could have been an engineer if it weren't for Evil Dead too. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> uh, you know, so this is funny. And this is kind of goes into a little, little tiny story. I normally don't try to dig into myself. But as far as the first, I mentioned uh, Jaws when I saw it. That's probably the first horror movie I ever saw when I was a kid. And what happened was I was playing catch. We were in, we were uh, on vacation. I was playing catch. My brother was hitting, you know, hitting a baseball with my dad pitching and whatnot. The thing goes clear over the fence, hits me in the head, right? So just knocks me out. I'm going unconscious. I, I got a concussion from yeah. it. So I go back home. My mom's trying to keep me awake. And so she's like, well, if you want to watch something, go over to the VHS, you know, while my grandma had the tons of movies. She's like, yeah. pick out anything you want. So there's Disney and all this, you know, kitty stuff. I see fucking Piranha. I see Jaws. And I'm like, <laughs> I, know, I know I can't watch these. So I just pull out Jaws and the rest is history. I mean, I wanted to yeah. go to sleep. So, so yeah. your, your story about Evil Dead 2 and, you know, giving you a concussion and knocking your ass out. I'm like, horror brought us together. This was my first horror tattoo, too. You can see that one. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah. my God. That's oh, yeah. So cool. You know, uh, yeah. Jaws, man. It, it's made me the, who, the person who I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, one way or another. Yeah, one of the best movies ever. Yeah. Really I agree. I agree. Yeah, all right. Nice. So, Sam. Okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna dig down into yours. All right. So, the okay. first one here, we got to start with the letter S. I've All got right. 1981, I believe, 1981, Student Bodies. Have you guys watched oh, that movie? I, have, I haven't seen that one. I, haven't, I, I need to see that. That's dude, oh, dude. Really yeah, I haven't seen that one. That's, a, that's an 80s one it I have is, not seen. 81 it is perfect. hilarious. Also, yeah, so great. that, I, it's, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's one of those movies that's kind of, have you ever seen Wacko? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Is, is, is so it it's, it's along the lines of that, where it's a slasher, but, you know, at one point, like, somebody gets stabbed with a banana, and they fall back, and they die. Every time Some somebody it. dies yeah. in the movie, it's got, like, a counter, like, it, like, dings up one, or, like, yeah. two, you know, it just, yeah. like, counts down, all the people you got die. The body shit. You got so, the body you count. You gotta have that. that that's the body count. Yeah. That's something Absolutely. That so, my, my wife and I have been going, we've been going down, like, these 80s, um, 70s and 80s, like, horror movie uh, you know, just let's do two of them a night or something like that. Revisiting some or some that that I, that I missed. Missed. I, there's so many that I freaking missed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't know. I mean, I thought I was cool, but I'm not cool at all. <laughs> so many. There's so much education left, you know, to to sure. be had. Yeah, 
That's cool. The student bodies. All right. Awesome. We're doing it. Student bodies is absolutely one. And it's the slapsticky, very silly humor. But then, you know, also yeah. a horror movie because there's a killer on the loose and you're trying to figure out what's going on. So for sure. For sure. Very fun. So uh, now in, in the vein of another one that I just po posted up here, I do have to ask you about, uh, uh, of course, with your, your, your acting abilities and, and my keen to Bruce Campbell, Army of Darkness. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> that was, All right. Uh, um, I mean, that was fun. I'll never forget when, like, when getting the news that that was coming out, that they that they were doing that. Because I mean, I've you know spent the, the the amount of time between Evil Dead Two and Army of Darkness for especially for a kid, it's like a lifetime, right? <laughs> Literally, for a lot of kids, like we're born after Evil Dead Two, and right. and then all of a sudden Army of Darkness. And if you were savvy enough or you were lucky enough to have seen Evil Dead Two, like the way that movie ends, you're just like, wait, nights and shit. Like yeah, like he's in medieval times now, and you're ending the movie now. Yeah. What? <laughs> right. Arthur? Yeah. Like, 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 <laughs> what? So I'll never forget when 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 they when that movie when Army of Darkness like just the the news that it was coming out. I was like, there's nothing else in this world that I want to see more. Nothing matters. Than that. Nothing else matters. <laughs> <laughs> Metallica's just playing. Boy, did not <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and it didn't disappoint. It's a great fucking movie. It's hilarious. It's, uh, I mean, I just say, like, it's, it's not, as far as scary goes, just, just my opinion, but it, like, it goes one, two, and three as far as, like, scary, not quite as scary. And then this is just really not even scary anymore, <laughs> but it's cool AF. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> I, I, I still say Evil Dead 2 is my favorite out of all three yeah. of them. But yeah. Army of Darkness so many times nudges right back and forth with it, you know, with the little bits of, you know, him going and all the miniatures that go around and they stab yeah. him with forks and shit. And totally, when he totally. when he he just comes out, and he's got the two heads and he's going back and forth. Yeah. 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 You cannot recreate so, that movie. Yeah, his yeah. one liners in that, too. Like, of the yeah. So like, uh, you love me once. And he's like, yeah. But you got real ugly. I, mean, I like, agree. Kid not even like fully grasping, like, look, oh, that's just pillow talk, baby. Yeah. Like, I didn't know that. Like, I laughed my ass off. When I, you know. Right. <laughs> you were raised in the barn? You probably were raised in the barn. It's like, first you want to kill me, now you want to kiss me. Blow. Blow. <laughs> no fucking clue. Dude. Way over. But then, then you grow up and you watch it again, and you're like, uh oh. Yeah. oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that. That's great. And then one of the things too with that movie too that struck with me when I watched it, you know, being younger was he mentions this boom stick being made in or boomstick being made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's not yeah. too far from me. You yeah, know, and I'm like, yeah, whoa, yeah, yeah, holy totally. shit! You know, I can't Shop believe Shop Smart, Shop S Smart, yeah. Shop S Smart. I know, yeah. dude. <laughs> I was hoping when they did the uh, the Ash vs. Army of Darkness that they were going to dig a little bit more into him working oh. at the store. I know. You know? Yeah, yeah, totally. I also love that all of Army of Darkness, when you boil it down, is him at S-Mart trying to impress a girl. The yes. whole story, he's just telling to impress a girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so I mean, awesome. Like, this is the and then story. it turns out all of it was true. But yeah. the motivation for the story being told is to impress a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it kind of kind of teeters back and forth to between, you know, she doesn't really even give a shit. So yeah. it's like, yeah. well, yeah. I guess I'll try on the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So this third one, I have a tie, actually. I've got to grab another one because I, I, I've got a little bit of a tie on what I need to ask. So okay. hold on. Okay. Uh, let's see here. All right. Bam. All right. So this third one. First of all, we're talking about the old cocaine king. So I've got to ask you about the old maximum overdrive. Oh my god! Yeah, yes. yeah that's going that's going way back. AC but, yeah. Yeah, Dude, ACDC. Yeah. Who yeah. made who? All right, tell, tell me about your, your earlier times watching this movie. What was uh? What, what, were you a fan of it when you first saw yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, I, had, I mean, I mean, God, that's going it's going way back. Um, I haven't seen that movie in, in decades. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't. I, I remembered. I, I didn't even know who Stephen King was. Okay. When, when I saw the movie, you know, I mean, you just think like, yeah, it's scary, but it's also just like it's trucks. It's high octane. Well, also, yeah. I was always wondering, like, what does Spider-Man have to do with this? Like, why is the Green <laughs> Goblin? Right, right. <laughs> I agree. The villain I has agree. to have a face. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I agree. It doesn't have to have a face. It would later be known as a grill. But that was, you know. Then it turns out the answer is cocaine. Cocaine. Yeah, that's that's it. I know. We started talking yeah. earlier about the old cocaine kings and how that should be a subgenre. And I'm like, oh, my God. I have to yeah. I have so, to bring up the epitome of this. Maximum overdrive. Absolutely. Maximum overdrive. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Just a, bri a bridge lifting and fucking a yeah. truck with watermelons and it smashing everywhere. Yeah, I, 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 I like Stephen King. Yeah. Like, what if yeah. I kill people? No, I, right. I like to Let's imagine go. Stephen King writing that entire thing in ten minutes. <laughs> 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 you know, just, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I can imagine that, and probably three or four of his books that came out soon after. I can, yeah, exactly. I can imagine. Yeah, the stand, Jesus, the stand what a like twenty-five. So. <laughs> <laughs> what a maniac. <laughs> All right, so this was actually the last one I, I chose, okay, and it was it was partially because of uh, uh, of the ending of how it ends up, you know, concluding along with your guys' shorts. How it just made me, you know, all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's not how I thought, you know, this was going to be ending. So what I have for it is Frank Darabont's The Mist. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. going back to King too, like it's. Uh, but that's one of the that's one of the few. Oh. I mean, Darabont is one of the few. Um, well, there's really only two, I think, in my opinion, that a few film filmmakers that can do Stephen King right, and that is that is a perfect, a perfect example of of, like, part of me goes. You better be saying Mick Garris is the other. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah. No. Um. Yeah. Like that was. It's borderline for me. That movie might actually even be better than than the original uh, subject material. Um. Absolutely, of because of the ending. Because yeah, the that ending, was all yeah. Frank Darabont. Yeah, and it's and it's it's yeah, absolutely, absolute brilliance. Yeah, um, and you know, again, like I mean, I love I I love contained films because like we've tried to write them and they're incredibly difficult to yeah. you know to it establish helps with the source material though. It helps if you have source material like that. But I love I love a good story like boy, there's a legitimate reason why there's a group of people stuck in a room and then what happens in that room and how yeah. do you make that fucking interesting? You know, it's really, mm -hmm. really difficult uh, mm -hmm. to do. Oh, and then yeah, Darabont with that ending is just like, oh. Yeah, and you finally get out. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Little, that yeah. was just, it was one of the, it was, you know, watching your, your, your shorts too, there was a couple of things that came to mind as far as when I saw the endings coming, you know, and, and different things happen. And I'm like, oh, that, that took me back. One of the first things that popped up was the mist. And I'm like, oh my God, that ending was just oh, trash. Oh, it just it's trash. Trash. steals yeah. the soul out of you. Yeah, it really, it really does. Yeah. Yeah. I remember walking out of that movie going like, I don't feel good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, shit, yeah. what happened? Yeah, I love the whole thing that happened. Yeah. Yeah. How, how Darabont, Darabont's like, yeah, I've done at least two Stephen King movies. Uh, there's The Mist and then Shawshank Redemption. Like, are you fucking King? Stephen King is just ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. But that's but again, another... He, like, he, he pulled it off so well. Yeah. He, that was such a damn... I mean, everyone... everyone a lot of people don't even know that that's Stephen King. You know, yeah, uh, it's a it's a short story too. Yeah. You know, to where it's like crazy what Frank Darabont did with that. You know, as yeah. far as it just being, I mean, limited source material. You know, in in Stephen King's eyes. Yeah. But right. uh, God, making an absolute classic. Yeah. Beautiful. I think, uh, I, I, and I don't know from personal experience, obviously, but I I would think that maybe doing a Stephen King uh, short story would be easier. Uh, and and the reason why I say is his 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 novels are so rich and so oh. full of great stuff. Like, how do you yeah. edit it? Yeah, yeah, how do you true, edit true. It out? And I feel like that's uh, that's another re one of the reasons we've had this discussion many times where we're like, well, why Tip King doesn't typically work as well? Like, I mean, uh, everyone said, oh, the book was better, but in Stephen King, in Stephen King's case, the book is much fucking better right. you know, right. than yeah. the movie. Like, and I love those. Yeah. I love Pet Cemetery. I love every every uh, Carrie. I mean, every single Stephen King movie I love. Mm -hmm. But if you read the book, you go like, yeah, it's great. It's a great movie. The Shining, great movie. Not right. the book. No. Yeah. I, don't compare, I don't even compare those two at this point. Yeah. I'm like, the Shining movie yeah. is one of the most brilliant horror movies ever made. There also happens to be this book called The Shining that's one of the best. <laughs> right. They're not the same thing. <laughs> They're kind of similar, but totally yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, Kubrick, Kubrick went in a different direction that I love. You know, yeah, it, yeah, it is Kubrick's The Shining, and then and there's then King's what Shining. Flanagan did with yeah. Doctor Sleep. So Flanagan to marry those two yeah. like that, dude. Uh, again, like because uh, so I, that one I had, I had 
just read Dr. Sleep maybe, I don't know, maybe a, a, two, a couple years before before they started do, doing that, that film. So yeah, like two or three years before the film came out. And uh, dude, like he, he, he was so faithful to the source material. And it, it's one of those things where you leave the movie going like, I don't, I loved that movie so much. I don't, I can't remember the stuff that was in the book that didn't make it to the film. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh, uh, no shit. Yeah, wow. I, I, I loved that movie. Um, but I then don't think can, Flanagan can do anything wrong. I don't think he can do anything wrong. Either. Yeah, um, he, he, he did great. What was, uh, I'm trying to think of, what was the one on Netflix that he did uh, was, with the, uh, the husband and wife? There was Hunting a Hill House, then Gerald's Game, which is like Gerald's one of the Game. best book adaptations I've ever seen. Yeah. Holy and, and one shit. I've never read the book, but I have to read that after a while. Oh, yeah, Because yeah. it was you, one of the ones. You, have to. you read this book and you're like, I read it and I was like, okay, I need to see if anyone's making a movie of this because it's absolutely impossible to make a movie. And yeah. then I read that Mike Flanagan was doing it. And I was like, oh, he'll probably be able to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I he really pulled it off. Like, oh that's like one of those things where like, honestly, like I I I'll encourage you to read Stephen King, uh, any day of the week, but that movie, you you and could probably just watch that movie if you really want to get that 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 story. He gets it so yeah. well, but it also it's like one one would say that that maybe that movie was like the impossible film to shoot because it's all inside of somebody's head. But right. then when the way Flanagan pulls it off, you go like, oh dude, like it's it's the yeah. easiest, it's the best Stephen and King wants to shoot. Let's not forget the practical right. at the end of that movie. Oh yeah, man. so nuts! Yeah, oh so my horrible. god, it was like, so uh, so crazy. Uh, yeah, and 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 to mention creepy characters too, the 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 fellow that's in the courtroom there, you know, yeah. look at uh, that <laughs> guy. Oh my god! What's well, crazy is that's that 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 whole courtroom scene in the book is the epilogue of the book because the story is essentially done. But you're kind of wondering what yeah. happened to this guy, and she goes and confronts and blah blah blah. And apparently Mike Flanagan said, I'm, I'll do the movie, but the only way you'll, I'll do it is if you let me do the epilogue as the ending. Yeah. So it's like this, I, I kind of like that there's it's like so this cool. three-act structure to this movie and then 15 minutes at the end that lets you wrap up the emotional story, mm -hmm. not just what physically happened. And I wish more Damn. movies would take the time to do that. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Okay. I didn't know that. Flanagan's wow. a true storyteller, yeah. man. He's a true storyteller. Like he, he, he just also, it just so happens that he's brilliant. He's a brilliant visual artist yeah. as well. Um, but it, I think, I, I think at his core, he's just a, a true storyteller. It's, it's, it, so Flanagan, if you're watching, <laughs> we love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, look, guys, I, I'm not going to hold you any longer. This has been absolutely amazing. Uh, well, I yeah, truly I'll, appreciate I'll you guys taking great. the time. You know, I, I, I well, I originally I when I you know message people, I, I mentioned it's going to be you know maybe a half hour or an hour, but you know I'm not going to cut it short either. I absolutely love talking with with people like you and like minded people on here as well. So likewise, yeah, man. man, this has been great. Thank you so so much for for, for taking the time, and thank you for uh, you know for your interest in uh, in doing this. Thank, thank you. you. Are you yeah. kidding me? Right back at you. <laughs> 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 All right, fellas. Well, this is uh, the Lo Fi Horror Guys Growing Out Live, the Box Lightner Brothers, Lo Fi Horror Guy. You guys take care, stay safe. I'll you keep too. in touch with you. All right, thank I'll you so much, man. All right, take care, everybody. Bye bye. bye. Dun, 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 He's a lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, he's kind of a guy, but he is so lo-fi, lo-fi horror guy. Yeah, baby, baby.